And I wanna anyway. eat toes. What's with the eating today? Hey! I wonder why. Hey! <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to this, without <laughs> Lily saying shit more about that topic. <laughs> <laughs> No, I am not talking about you, that. How you guys doing? Oh, yeah. I, I was not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, One of guys... these days, we'll finally get them monetized. We're not working hard enough. How you guys doing? It's me, sick car gardener. That's the best I can do. <laughs> How did the car gardener get sick? Because people don't play women. Because people don't play. People don't wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> they cough in my mouth. This is what happens when you play your cards unsleeved. <laughs> you see, uh, Car guard took a couple too many uh, trap infecting viruses. Oh. Wouldn't they be dead? <laughs> he's yeah. so strong. Yeah, so he's, strong. He's. Do I gotta add that to his? Do I gotta add that to his effect? Yeah. Immune to the infecting virus. But still get sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's their that's their spirit ability. <laughs> they're immune to they're immune to destruction, but instead they get a little cough. <laughs> no, you're getting sickly. <laughs> Hello! Hello. We're gonna play some five darps today. How you guys doing? <laughs> I haven't done uh I haven't done a lot of streaming this week because uh, I've been trying to let my voice rest. And as you can tell, literally nothing has changed. So I shouldn't do that anymore, I don't think. Literally zero things have changed and I, and I feel just as, just as whatever as I was last time, except the sick is out, but the throat is in. The, the throat is in. Yeah. It's crazy. That's not what a throat should be doing. It should be doing the opposite. Get in my throat. Anyway, so um, <laughs> we are going to be going over we to the room. About it. We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to the room. Here we are. We're in the room. Woo! Um, and we are going to, uh, to, to 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 bring up a new card of the day. Yeah, a brand new, brand new card of the day. Here we go. <laughs> new card of the day. Uh, Yo, Neo Swordsman. Well, well, we did, we did, we did the man <laughs> last time. So let's, let's go yeah. ahead and, uh, yeah, I don't know, do woman. it again. <laughs> oh, it's updated trance. Oh. <laughs> Tran the man. <laughs> there you go. Trans the man. <laughs> Dear God, they trans them. <laughs> Literally, the only change is uh, just like with Neo, I added Tuner uh, and I also added uh, Warrior. Uh, so now the Spellcaster Warrior Tuner. Uh, they are a Earth, but they are also considered a Light and apparently a Fuda. Um, <laughs> also, also, also fucking severely lowered their uh, their defense because who the fuck plays we trans in defense mode? Who the fuck plays trans in defense mode anyway? Not me. I would Not never. you. Mm. Never. But yeah, it is a six star tuner. Yeah. Big wow. tuner. Big, big, big tuner. Big tuner lad. Good for them. Good. 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 Anyway. Yeah. We got trans. Uh, we got <laughs> trans. We got. Uh, we got what? <laughs> What's just hanging out over here by Lindo? I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite traits is my well-known trait and love for Italian women. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's a thing that I'm known for in all of the Battle of Ned Navi. It's you can look it up, it's in the record. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that like 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 <laughs> fucking time what? What, what else do you think Italian. Melon? What else did you think Melon was? They're definitely Italian. No wonder she looks <laughs> like that. No wonder. <laughs> I was I was thought about the joke. I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> but yes, who wants to tell us what happened last time? Yeah, I'm on deck today, so I guess it's me. Deck isn't even You're previously here. on five tops. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
the group continued their way into the forest where they encountered the fox the fabled fox <gasps> tells them was like fuck this shit i'm out and continued walking um after you know leaving some treats um Talzin didn't leave shit. Sorry, yeah, Talzin just left. <laughs> Talzin just went, fuck went. this. Yeah. Jem made sure to <laughs> bring some raisins after it was mentioned that they need to bring an offering to the fox. So um, she gave the pack of raisins to Gregor, and Gregor fe fed the fox, and the fox was like, we're kind of cool now. Make sure you bring more of this. I like this. I like these things called raisins. And Gregor was like, cool. Uh, Benny was like, I have failed you, a fox master master let me commit sudoku uh, which the fox wasn't paying attention to but benny promised to bring something next time and as long as it was tasty the fox would be cool with it the fox also mentioned that talzin is weird but you know it, it's fine he can also come back next time he, he as long as he doesn't he touch the stick promises. it's fine yeah i and, can't you know, wait oh sorry you know like the stick wasn't touched or mess with we were all informed about that and so we continued on our merry way uh, meanwhile talzin was talking to raku who was there and was like hey i i know you guys fell down a well but like you guys are fine so things worked out mm. i was honestly expecting you not to jump in the well and we we're gonna maybe do back and forth it's gonna be interesting and talzin was like yeah that would have been interesting but i wanted to like mess around with my deck for a bit more and then she was like yeah i wouldn't want to beat you again and talzin was like whoa 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 i just had a bad hand i can take you anytime any day and she was like okay anytime any day how about sunset and it was like bet and so they're gonna have a crazy duel day you know it's, they're gonna have excavates they're gonna play a face down you know hey, yo. he's gonna ferry meet your crusher hey, yo. anyway hey yo Anyway, yeah, um, deploy a she big left. shot in that ass. <laughs> Ayo, <laughs> you haven't take. Anyway, show him the sword uh, of dark destruction. <laughs> 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 I like to think of mine as legendary. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! You know it's legendary. What? Don't pan the camera to me. Move it. <laughs> no, 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 not my scene. I keep going, Linda. <laughs> anyway, so um, he uh, was gonna, you know, they're gonna meet again. He, they're basically, they're gonna have an offering to the do moment. Anyway, um, the rest of them came to the magical hole, and uh, Gregor was like, "Fuck it, we ball," and jumped in. Um, but Benny was like, "No, you can't just jump in and try to catch Gregor." And so. Uh, they were both kind of free falling until like they realized the platform could be lifted um through some very good gymnastics what about the line that's to... happening right here yeah. <laughs> what through a lot of gymnastics they were able to get on the platform safely and they made their way down they met roulette bunny but also before that moment benny encountered a phantom dealer and the two of them were having um what i can only call a animated monologue with each other but more cringe actually ruin. because it's monologue as if i was talking to myself i was oh. talking to them so unless you're considering them not to be a being which i understand it was a dialogue <laughs> He was having a cringy dialogue. It was like watching Death Note if they were both weeps. So it was like it watching, was like Death, watching Note Death Note. Death Note actually yeah. speaking out loud. There, yeah, they were actually <laughs> speaking out loud, going, "I know, they know, they know, I know." The anyway, molecules so they in this room increased by a thousand fold. <laughs> <laughs> but if anyway, I as, the as they were exerting no the spiritual idea. pressure. <laughs> Um, the rest of them came in and was like, listen, the, the little guy's not an issue. And besides, <laughs> there's a hot bunny woman over here. But it can't be all bad. Uh, she explained her situation of her friends are gone. And the person who resided in this place, Gahad, or Gahan, Gahan, yeah. Um, he, 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 he kind of left and is searching for the people who used to like own this place. 
But hey, there are two pathways. One of them was collecting 2000, the other platform was kind of modern, like, scape, and that was collected to Kate. And the rest of it isn't built. So, um, Kate, zero trauma game, let's go. Anyway, um, our boy Phantom Dealer mentioned that Kate may have the ability, f especially thanks to the, you know, um, some skull of the outer world, or I believe that's his name. I might have said it wrong. Because of that, they may have the ability to create portals. Yeah, they may have the ability to create portals directly to the spirit world, and that could be useful into getting into other areas, which would help Fam Dealer. And also, you know, help our boy, you know, some skull of the outer world, just because he might be a very big target, because he has a really good power. He's gonna get and other jumped. Would love to, yeah, he's, he's gonna get Jujutsu Kaisen tear jumped, basically, if we don't help him. So, um, with that, um, there was some talking, some deliberating, uh, and there were some car purchases, of, of course. We also were informed that there were three spirits within the school grounds that we would be, which we have the possibility of contacting, um, but Fan Dealer didn't know the exact locations. One of them was underground, but they all had different tiers of friendship. One of them was like a friend, the other one was, you know, there were of them, and the third one was like, they might be the most difficult. It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> they were banned. Yeah, they got they banned. Were banned. So there might be an issue. So with that information, the group started talking and deciding what to do next because they would be missing more time of school and they would not want to do that. And besides, this isn't really that problem except for it kind of is. And it kind of became a mutual agreement of we help you, you help us, but we're not like partners or anything. And Fan Deal was like, cool, fuck you guys anyway. I like my original homies. <laughs> Anyway, so we all left to decide what to do next. Um, Caitlin was still gonna go to look for someone to do, so she headed to the Oblix dorm. Meanwhile, the, the, the Talzin was gonna go upstairs, prepare his deck to see if he could make some changes, and then head out to his date with Raku. Um, da, da, da. Our boy Benny went to the lake where he met a raw teacher where she was very sleepy he was like just there kind of not having it they talked a little she can apparently see his squirrel friends so she can see spirits interesting hold on hold on you it. missed something important about this you gone what did i miss get it, get it she was disturbing the peace <clears throat> by sleeping ignoring anyway death penalty <laughs> anyway, um, Gregor went to the Raw Dome because he was going to be looking for Sammy Samurai, a boy samurai. And uh, so he made his way to the Raw Dome. We go with Kate as she made her way there. She talked to people. <laughs> Everyone didn't really want to do her, especially Bella, because the previous time they dueled, Bella ended up in a maid outfit. Um, <laughs> and so she talked to Professor, whose name will be mentioned afterwards, because dun, you know. Dun, dun, dun suspense for people who decided just to watch this session and not the previous session da, 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 so da, da, da. She, she talked to a professor who kind of mentioned hey your parents called your dad's stuck in korea but he's having a good time and also seemed really happy talking to me and your parents and um, your mother and her girlfriend they're kind of just chilling so your family's weird but okay we can deal with this uh, also your grandmother called in which caitlin, caitlin was like oh okay and so left a message. She's gonna call her again tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, the two of them went inside into Professor's office and they had a conversation where Caitlin revealed that, <laughs> hey, there's some crazy shit going on in the Royal Dome and it's kind of not a good vibe. And so the two talked and decided, we're not gonna talk to the principal about this. We're gonna try and sort this out. The Raw Dome leader want, the Raw teacher wants duelist to fight his duelist and that's the only way we can resolve this situation and caitlin was like okay bet but we're not gonna use any of the obelisk students we'll use the students who are with me because this is we don't want them to get in trouble i know people who are willing to get into trouble and professor was like okay that's fair enough reluctantly i agree 
and he also revealed that he was a slifer but wanted to be in the slife of Don but unfortunately because he's the best duelist in the school uh, he was put in obelisk and then he revealed his name it's Jones he's obelisk He's an Oblish Jones. No, the... no, he's Professor Jones. Professor Jones. He's he just Professor happens Oblish to be an Oblish. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Jones, who happens to be an Oblish. <laughs> you guys know the reference. No. So the... <laughs> There's not. Yes. There's no yes. reference. <laughs> He's he's just he's just Professor Jones. <laughs> he's just Professor Jones. Let's <laughs> not worry about it. So uh, Professor Jones agreed and. <clears throat> basically told caitlin to come back here with the other students and they will get them up to speed or yeah that was i believe what was going to happen next and they'll make sure to bring them in tomorrow and because tomorrow will be a sunday meanwhile with our boy gregor gregor made his way to the raw dome where everyone was you know chilling Doing it raw. and he met a girl he met leia his childhood friend nope allegedly <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> allegedly of course don't worry they have never met each other but <laughs> she is a actor and she gets paid by no nothing because acting is a very very demanding job and they should all get paid in their fair wages and all that good stuff have you uh, seen the market yeah. right now yeah, so the two of them would be spying Solid Snake style, so they left the bushes where everyone was staring at them because the conversation was not too quiet, but also not too loud. Meaning people were aware of people talking behind bushes. They went inside the Cypher Dome where they saw Run. Samurai on the ground as he looked like he had been kicked by this guy, another guy with a ponytail. Probably his why pon Why ponytails gotta, gotta fight? Exactly. Why? What? What? What's with yeah. this ponytail on ponytail violence going on? There should be ponytail on ponytail love. love. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, "Hey, you shouldn't come around here anymore. I don't know what's happened to your stuff." Uh, they say what? Was like, and Sarah was like, "Fuck you! You kind of know." And he was like, "No, I don't. Ha ha ha! I'm gonna walk away now, menacingly." And then the security dude. They say. I'll let you make a joke. Go ahead. They say when a ponytail and a ponytail love each other very much, they make pigtails together. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this dude appeared and he was like, "Hey, um, you want to report this? Uh, you know, th this incident?" And Samurai was like. No, you're not gonna do anything anyway. And he was like, "Damn right, I won't." Do you he know did who not I'm say that. <laughs> he did not say that at all. <laughs> <laughs> you leave not Kane alone. <laughs> you know who I'm based off of. <laughs> you gotta like get my social link to level five, and then I have to confess I'm your gay lover. Anyway, uh... <laughs> but no, he did not say that. He God, just, I like, hate you... Alan. <laughs> So quick, hide street as far as possible. Like, Gotta hate know. street. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hate Argo. I fucking hate street so much. <laughs> Point is, not Kane. We'll call him Abel for now. Abel over here was like, "Hey, would you like to report this incident? We can see what's happened." And also, um, was there anything missing? And Summer was like, "Yeah, um, my clothing." And Kane, Abel was like, "You need to be much more specific." And he was like, it's kind of like festival clothing, you know? And it was like, ah, gotcha. I will keep an eye out for festival clothing. And so he left. Also, and look at that fucking, look at that fucking student officer drip over here. Look yeah, at what that. the hell is going? Is this where all the budget is going in this school? Look at the student, <laughs> op student officers. Student officers. It's, it's like a, it's like a, what, what is that? Like a, it's almost like a green, but it's more like a, like a gun metal -y, like black, silver, gray, like. It's got a lot going on there. I can't pinpoint it though. I love it though. Remember the Yu-Gi-Oh gu God Gun? That's what they're based off. They're the Gun Dome. Anyway. And then he also. Yeah. He, 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 he oh, walked away. The things I wanted to do to them, they would have to send me to the pale blue dot where Otto's house still is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the three of them left as Leia continued the act of being childhood friends, and um. 
Samurai was pissed, but Gregor decided to give him some cards, and Samurai was less pissed and valued their friendship. Their social link is even higher. As for um, Talzin, I had to leave at this part, so I assume Talzin left his dorm. Anyway, that's me. Nope, Talzin's still hanging out. He's, he's, it's still light outside, kind of. It's still light out. Yeah. So, it was yeah. at the end of the game, so I could not do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not worry, my friend. Your time has come. <laughs> because it may have taken a week, at the but you end know. of at the end of the recap here, we can go over here to the top right of the thing and see this thing go up, up, bah. No, it's nice. Whoa, it's night time. It's we would just... time. We would mess with the lighting, but it's really bad. Tin that bitch. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck! It's dark as hell. <laughs> I, mean, I was I was oh, I was oh. gonna go I was gonna go with I was gonna go with this first. <laughs> yeah, because you know, do a lot at sunset. I thought you were gonna do like the in-game fucking lighting. I'm glad you didn't. There we I'm go. I'm glad you have your own. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, little bit lighter than that. A little bit lighter than that. Is this middle of a the shadows. That's a little bit too. Uh, okay, we got we got to tone down the we got to tone down the contrast a little bit. We got to bring that bring that shit back a little bit. There we go. All right. But yes, it is getting to the end of the day. Uh, as you guys are all uh getting to your 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 different places. Uh, Kate has left the obelisk dorm. Benny has uh essentially been stopped from doing much studying because of the weird encounter he had uh talison is fixing up their deck and gregor is going back i think we're gonna start things off with gregor gregor what's up one second let me change the music <laughs> oh did i get some inspo no okay you can double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> now here you go. Here's two splations. Thank you. I can't believe you didn't double it and give it to the next person. I'm selfish, selfish. what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> uh new Grace Heart? Well I mean that was that was that was, we, we we showed this last week. <laughs> and they also have their teeths. <laughs> Do not worry, the teeth have not left. The promised land Hold on, let me go get, let me go, lay. Let me go get let me go get Phantom's fucking meme. Hold on. Thank God. Her teeth. Hold on, let me let me just uh We love a I like a girl a... that can bite my dick off. <laughs> we love a girl that can bite my dick off. We love a girl who has the sharpest teeth in the world and is just a normal girl, basically, with no mental illnesses to speak of. Well, I mean you did see what happened with them when they first showed up, right? They were, they thought they were just playing around, though. <laughs> yeah, then... They thought they were just trying to really? scare them. <laughs> yeah. She was a lot There we go. There's, there's, the there we go. There's Phantom. There, there's Phantom. Yeah, meme. there it is. Yeah! Woo! Where? Where? Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Hold on, I, I think there's a line on there that I'm having trouble getting rid of. I'm gonna put it, it over here for a second. Right now. I'm gonna put it over here for a second, gonna lock it, gonna gonna fucking erase. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <coughs> yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on I'm gonna leave it on this layer actually. I'm gonna leave it right there and uh one of you can put a uniform on her if you want to. Anyway, I'm going back over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh they, there's there's grace and they have like whatever and everybody's like yeah whatever and then smile with sharp teeth everybody's like yeah! <laughs> get you a girl who can make you circumcise again <laughs> again get you a girl who can make you a girl <laughs> hey it's auto <laughs> <laughs> The shittiest hair you will ever see. <laughs> Perfect. I like how you just have to like draw that and immediately we know it's all. Great. Us. Now, like, I, I, now I'm just assuming all four of these people are just the four original kids. 
<laughs> sure, <man. laughs> All right, we'll check in on that later. Um, so, Gregor, you, got some, baby. you walk back to your dorm. Samurai walking a bit ahead of you, uh, but you guys are, are walking relatively slow because Samurai is kind of using the card packs you gave him to get over the fact that he just got fucking like owned at the raw dorm. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> as like you see him pull Regegi and he's just like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> like, hmm, that's strong. <laughs> what do you mean? That's like a one in 72 pack kind of draw. I haven't seen that since my boy. Uh... I hate to make up my name, my boy Colin. They took his gun and they beat him up, but he's fine. Colin? <laughs> Colin. All right, let me write that Bless down. Last name Sammy. It's actually Colin, but they call it Colin for a joke. You know, it's an in-joke yeah, between Yeah, Colin, them. but they call him Colin. There we go. That's how you spell it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> no, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got to animify it up a little bit. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> He's related to Cole. It's just Cole's other form. <laughs> du, 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 du. It's just another form Cole took. <laughs> Red as, they, as they were going Cole? through the as they were going through the slums. <laughs> Stayed up in the eclipse. <laughs> Colin D's no, and you're banned. Banned. That doesn't even make any sense. Car guard the bandit. <laughs> but yes, uh, as that's going on, you guys would get to the part where it would split off into uh, going into the forest or leaving. You guys would look back. Leah would be like looking over toward the obelisk dorm, looking back to you guys, looking back over the obelisk dorm. I will go. <laughs> Hey, take care now, right, baby? Uh, uh, of course. Um, and you're... Are you still going to be watching the raw dorms? I might be. Then I will see you there, and we will figure more of it out relatively soon. We will be digging there at some point, but for the sake of this argument, we've never seen anything at all. Should I bring tools? tools what do you think we're doing digging no 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 don't that's a, that's a that's a metaphor you so you don't have to bring tools okay i won't i they like look to their nails i'll figure it out yeah they start walking away <laughs> as they make their way off you see that they walk off with a uh with a sense of almost like danger about them as they're like looking around the corner, the, the corner here at the at the thing first before taking a swift walk, like back straight, walking slightly, slightly like with a tilt to the back going forward, trying to look uh, like they are like they are completely uh, nonchalant. <laughs> She's not nailing that walk, I will say that. You make strange accomplices. Well, I wouldn't say it's an accomplice, all right? I mean, we haven't done anything of any note or, or dear motive to be an accomplice. I like to think more of a, of, a, of a friend, you know? Right, a friend. Yeah. So, where did you say you end up getting these? Uh, a little bit, like, all right. So, this is a little bit confusing, so I have to try to... All right, so there's a hole, there's some sort of well, like a hole. Deep in the forest. Yeah. And if you jump in it, it takes you to this weird, first of all, like a pile of old shitty cards. And then when you get to this door, right? Like this big old door. Yeah. You open that door and inside there's a, there's a bunny lady. Okay. And, and once a day she sells cards. Like at a certain time or... No, no, just once a day. I feel like it just takes, like, energy out of her. All right. Uh, hmm. Interesting. With this, we should be able to get back to Raw relatively quickly. Even you guys should be able to power up your decks rather well. Though, 
from what I've seen in the raw dorms, maybe it might not be a great idea. I was gonna say the the raw dorms seems some sort of like a <clears throat> not like a pop, like a dark hole, like the car dark hole, like everything just gets pulled in its reach right now. Like like the obelisks are going to raw when they go down, and the slappers are going up the raw, but apparently no one's removed from raw. It's all just it's all just piling up in there, you know. Well, from what I saw, whenever everybody was first getting used to the idea of that place, it's relatively good to stay. At least that's what they were telling us. Uh, did you hear about the Millennium Duel? I don't... kind of, when you just seek this out again for me. Uh, the Millennium Duels. It's what the teacher's calling them. The idea, essentially, is to make the best from the best uh they're wanting to move the raw dorm up to make the raw dorm the strongest dorm in the academy if they can do that then a lot of the stronger students will be going to the raw dorms and everybody who was in raw during the time of the millennium duels will be better essentially they'll have a stronger alumni they'll be able to say that, uh, that they graduated at a higher rank than other people they would say that they were there when everything happened uh so it's a large incentive to not have anyone leave the dorms nobody wants to go up or go down because they don't want to be excluded from this you know what i mean oh so it's like a fear of missing out kind of thing kind of um then there's the idea that apparently they're getting us stronger I'm not entirely sure exactly how, but from what I heard with all of you whenever we were talking about the uh, stuff with the Chancellor, maybe it has something to do with the dual AI program or some of the other new rules that are coming after. Maybe they have some way of getting stronger cards or, well, you heard what the Chancellor said. If you get in good with the teachers, apparently they can give you good boons. Maybe once they move up to being the strongest dorm they can give the strongest boons or most populous dorm i don't know well all right but you know like there's also okay bam you know this all kind of sounds kind of like like loony right oh definitely yeah all right we're both on the same page on that whenever they were first getting brought up i still wanted to make my way over to uh obelisk blue the idea that they would be able to do this without shaking up too much in the entire, like, history of this place was odd. Apparently in the dorm's history, they haven't really changed the order all that much. Maybe the occasional year where Slifer or Ra might have been the, the top dogs, but it's usually always Obelisk, and most people in the city will remember it to be Obelisk. I doubt that what they can do in a span of three years could change that. That being said, uh, whatever this Millennium Duel actually is, maybe it has something to do with it. The Headmaster, not Headmaster, the uh, Dorm Leader apparently has a love of Master Duel mechanics. He does not like Turbo Duels at all, though. So this whole thing is to, all right, so apparently we're just getting rid of turbo duels or something, or he just doesn't like them, and it's all just, just doing master duels forever. I think he's wanting to shake up master duels and basically rename them to be millennium duels, if I understand things correctly. He wants to be the head of this, like the one bringing all of this in. And he's using the raw students, from what I can see, as basically the method to show it making what the so make like master a master duels. duel thing as big as the fortune circuit or like yeah basically making them more exciting to be on par with turbo dueling i don't see how you can make it more exciting than a motorcycle though i agree i do not understand how he plans on doing this i wasn't in raw long enough to understand it me and talison uh both should have similar information about this but we both got put down here to Slifer and we both missed a week, so I don't really see how they're planning on doing this. But while I was there, apparently a lot of students' decks have gone missing. 
missing, missing. Oh yeah, apparently they're like taking them or something. I'm not fully like get it. Like I think like if you ask Kate, like she better understands the whole thing. But but apparently they're like taking them and you can't like change them if you lose against the person in that duel or something. Hmm. I don't see how they can get away with something like that. What are they I supposed guess to do just trying to make like they're, they're dueling. What's the word? Like the word for like the Uber mensch, like the 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 Uber duelist of their of their class, I guess. Mm. And they're using like the deck knowledge to figure that out. I guess. Hmm. I'm guessing they're planning on returning the decks before Monday. Then. I figured so. Yeah. Interesting. If they were taking the decks indefinitely, there would be a lot more conversation happening around here. Well, uh, we can figure it out. I know I'm planning on wanting to look more into this. I don't know if I'm going to want to stake it out like you and that girl are doing, but I do need my stuff. Why are they taking your stuff anyway? That's kind of a weird thing to do. Like They were the ones you know in charge of packing personal? it all. They were the ones in charge of packing it all up and bringing it over here. I just noticed a couple of my things were missing. So whenever I went back to go and check on it, they wouldn't let me back into my old dorm house without dueling. I'm not, I wasn't amazingly confident on my deck with, with everything that happened, so I refused, and then you saw what happened uh, for the rest of it. Oh yeah, I saw what happened. My god, no business like punching you like that, you know? You're not supposed to do that kind of stuff. <sighs> it was fine. I've had worse. You've had worse? I mean, me too, but you know. <laughs> not in like the week, right? No, uh, well... I mean, I saw someone die whenever we were doing our, whenever we were doing things over in the, All right, uh, I guess she had it world. was, yeah. <laughs> I guess being shot by literal lightning is a very good way to have it was. Uh, but I guess other than that, um, up until very recently, my family wasn't the most well off. Uh, we lived in a rough part of Neo Domino. Uh, not the slums or the eclipse or anything, but decently rough, a bit of the outskirts. Uh, but recently we were able to come into things a little bit better and I was able to make my way here. So the clothes are just sort of a, I guess, a keepsake from my previous life. Oh, that's sentimental. Yeah, my family and I used to take care of a shrine on the outskirts of town. But once everything happened, we ended up having to change uh, residence. We moved everything that we could out of there as well. We were essentially bought out of the land we took care of. And the ones in charge allowed it to happen despite no real re legal precedent before then. But it was able to let my family get more uh, income and allow us to move up a little bit. But we still keep all of the... Uh, all the symbols and all of the clothing and we still have a couple of the bricks as well uh from the old shrine you even kept the bricks we wanted to make sure that if there were any spirits or at the time i was kind of skeptical but now that seeing the other world it makes me more think it might be true we were thinking that if there was anything inhabiting the uh the stone there it'd be best to bring it with us instead of letting it lose itself or become something evil. Hmm. Well, I can't say I fully understand this whole, uh, this whole temple stuff. I'm gonna be honest, this whole spirit thing just came to me, like, maybe, like, a week ago, and apparently in 24 hours ago at the same time. Most but... of everything that happened before we went into that world, I took with a grain of salt, too, believe me. And I grew up oh, with all right. it. Oh, right, so that was, like, a completely <laughs> new experience for the both of us, all right. Yeah, it was not, uh something that I 100% believed in until that. Well, listen. As, as someone has I probably just find Tally and swear it on him. You're gonna get that guy. You're gonna get that stuff back. And if I gotta help you with it, I'll be there and I'll, I'll punch him. I'll punch him back. You are very small, Gregor. I, I still got hands. <laughs> Size isn't everything, my boy. I guess that's fair. I'd rather not get punched by anyone, let alone anyone around here. No matter how big they are. 
<sighs> well, thanks for the cards, either way. Uh, that's no problem, Sammy. Uh, are they waiting for you? They point uh, over no. toward the stairs, <laughs> as you see. <laughs> Oh, I wish it was way to... <laughs> I wish. Damn. But no, that one's point of fat uh, fatality. Oh. should probably go tell him, actually. I, I should probably go tell him that, that uh, his, uh, his date's yeah. All right. I'm going to make my way over to the park and do some thinking. I'll see you later. All right. Catch you later. He gives a nod and starts walking off. Oh, Tally, you're such a lucky boy. <laughs> Hope you don't die. <laughs> don't worry, Talison. If she kills Yalit, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, Talison. It's not pooping. God damn it! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I oh, love no, that. I love that the the one that potentially could be Piper hasn't been changed at all. <laughs> <laughs> There's, Piper there's got a auto, haircut. there's, there's, there's eye patch there, there's gun, and then there's just this <laughs> Yeah, I cut my hair again, and I grew a beard while I was at it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'm gonna really step up my disguise, can be turning into a guy. <laughs> and I'm stepping up my disguise by turning white. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the other Piper! Camellia! Camellia! It's around this point uh, that you would uh, be making your way there. Uh, coming up behind you, however, would also be another person returning. Uh, as Kate, you would be walking around the um, uh, the area just now to head back to the dorms as well. Mm -hmm. uh, as, the, uh, as you would come out, uh, you would have gotten there slightly slightly before because they were like talking <laughs> with um uh with uh uh samurai uh for for a little while but gregor you would be walking basically immediately after um uh, uh kate would be there kate you see in mm -hmm. front of you what appears to be raku they are standing in front of the stairs just sort of waiting staring over toward uh the um, uh the entryway that uh, you and from what you can tell gregor is coming from but uh, they don't really seem to flag you down or anything. They're just kind of sitting there. Hey. hey, Gregor, do you know if Benny's back? Benny? I mean, I just got here, so I can't tell you if Benny's back. I haven't seen him, that's what you're asking me. Yeah, it's all right. Or you went off to Ice Queen. Huh. Anyway, yeah, but to the, you know, Obelisk Dom, try to find someone to duel. Any luck? Unfortunate. Nope. Uh, uh, have some new news though, which requires everyone to be here to talk about. Oh, huge news! No, you're, not gonna, I, you're not getting a sense of like a to like a to like a weird spirit realm again. Ours is not happening again. No, no, not that kind of news. All right, that's great. Uh, but it's usually easier with everyone up. I'll, I'll wait to grab Talzin since someone should probably tell him his dates here. Oh yeah, I was planning to. Do you want to get on on that? No, no, you can go ahead. Oh, excellent. I do love prison him up. Sorry, I had to I had to simulate what would happen with uh with Benny and any encounters that would happen on the way uh home. <laughs> you know that Hello. scene in fucking regular show where they're trying to hand out the the, the little flyer sheets and one guy just dodges underneath him? <laughs> yeah. Nope, no thanks. not doing this thing. Benny, you would make your way uh, back home as well. You turn the corner. You see uh, a group of people in front of you. Uh, you see uh, both Gregor and Kate seemingly talking amongst themselves. And then you see uh, Raku waiting over by the stairs. There you are. That's Great news. I found him. <laughs> I'll go grab the other one then. All right. All right. I'll go. Uh, as Benny's just like, hi. Oh, and that just no, 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 started... no. <laughs> <laughs> you get back here. No, 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 no geese feeding. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, I have important news that requires, well, the four, the three of you guys, and then you guys can pick whoever else you want to tell. 
I'm just okay. doing my part. You know, apparently, okay. you have to find five people. Yes. Which is why I'm telling those guys, and then they can decide on the last person. <laughs> because I know who I want to pick, but I'm biased. Uh, okay. There's nothing bi about you. <laughs> you are. <right. laughs> <laughs> only your only your parents. <laughs> so are you going to tell me or requires everyone here first? Gregor, uh... you make your pay you make your way past Raku to go and try to find Talison. You go up to the dorm room, you knock on the door. Uh Emerald, have you completed any sort of any changes you wanted with the deck? I have. I can only do so much. <clears throat> have you prayed to all have... of the gods that will take you? But I have changed a bit of the deck, yes. Do you want I'm more time to, to make your deck? Stock. I am as this is as good as I can make this deck without having not to have 60 cards in it. Do you have a extra deck? Yes. Do you have a um, uh, a uh, a draw deck, destiny draw deck? Yes. All right. Good. 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 Making sure yeah. all the things. I love Music it when an out. encounter comes with a checkpoint list of all the shit you need. I just wanted that to make sure safe. because I wanted to make sure because Talison has been uh, changing his deck for like the past several hours, so I wanted to make sure there was anything else he wanted to do to it. Yeah. This yeah, is been... the. Oh, sorry. I've, I've been looking it over since the game started, and I have basically done what I can with it based on the cards we have. Did anybody want to make any contribute, uh, contribution, uh, com contributions uh, to the spell book? Uh, I know that uh, Kate had basically put in the seven spells that they had right here, but did anybody want to so, make any contributions well, to the spell book before? More. Yeah. It was six plus one. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I put everything I owned in there. <laughs> currently it's a spell the card, spell book card, right? yes currently the spell book is offerings to the doomed swords are revealing light I've got a shocker which is hidden armor <laughs> silver arrows don't worry about it hidden armor rare goat armor lightning vortex mst and tribute to the doomed which one was which one did uh did you put in for offerings Put in offerings? Oh, okay. Yeah. If anybody has any contributions or anything they would like to do to this, uh, they can they can also uh, bring that up with Lindo. Lindo has the book. Um, I am the bookkeeper. <laughs> Follow for the Italian woman. Her, she has the book. <laughs> da, 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 da. With all that being said, Calvin, you get knocked on on the door. You have finished your 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 book you have you have readied your stratagems do you answer the door yeah Bah. oh you oh. jumped at me god like <laughs> i can find another pretty jump scare <laughs> sorry golly baby how's that deck building going uh as well as it probably could just based on what we got not too many things that I really needed, but I think I filled it out as well as it could be. Listen, you're an 18 karat king. You got that, all right? Mm-hmm. But your dad's downstairs. I don't think she's going to wait a minute long. I mean, she might wait a little. I don't know that much. Ah, it is sunset. Good. Thank you for getting me. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, you might want to talk to Kate, too. She says it's really important that we're all there for whatever she's going to happen. Maybe she killed someone. I'm not sure yet. No, at no point in my life where we all had to like sit down and talk to each other. Not yeah, but like in, in general, it was ever like a great news. So you know. Yeah, it's not that great when people have to meet like that. Uh, anyway, it's probably fine. I agree, anyway, but I'm also just an introvert. <laughs> <laughs> That's Benny from the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Benny is just fidgeting right now. Like, come on, let's have the new psycho code bird. <laughs> nope. All right. And after that, go take a gamble on that bunny girl and give her your best shot. All right. What? I'm a goddamn lyricist and no one appreciates it. I... I'm sorry. I'm just taken aback by. The sudden mention of the bunny girl when we've already been to her today and she's only can No, okay. it's, it's, listen, I was looking for some kind of card to talk about because it's all, I usually just do card, sexual anyone. Go get it, all right? It's all I'm saying. 
All right. Oh, powder, go. Wait, no, hold on, wrong one. Uh. <laughs> I'll just move out the way. There you go. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is a dump. <laughs> this place sucks. Easy, and, as yeah. I always, and as I always tell my friend, this time use consent. I don't have good friends. What the fuck? I didn't say my friends were great. Who the fuck do you know doesn't like consent? What the fuck? Remember, kids, consent is cool. I had to remind one of them. The condom goes on you, not her. Yo, girls, if we have bad You guys make your way down. <laughs> As you do, Kate is still is still uh, rounding on Benny, making sure Benny doesn't leave. <laughs> okay, there's everyone. Well, you guys. So, yep. good news. So, who do you kill? Oh, don't worry about that. Anyway, so good news. So, spoke to, spoke to the Slife. Sorry, spoke to our teacher in the Obelisk. Well, my former teacher in the Obelisk. And I basically informed him what's going on with the Raw Dom. And he, originally he was going to tell the principal, but that would cause some issues since, you know. Going around the principal wouldn't give a proper resolution since the principal is kind of overworked. So instead, we're gonna play the slight um, Rod Dom's game, who wants six duelists to duel his best duelists. And guess who signed you guys up for that? You drafted okay. us? Yep. <laughs> you know we what? Need one more star player for this team. I got a guy. Uh, you got a guy? You. You understand that for me to do this, I have to prepare alone. <laughs> He's gone right now. <laughs> I haven't given you all the details. How can you just leave? You're torturing my boy. It's like a zoo animal. He needs to have his introvert time. Okay, his let me time let me see I if explaining. I let me see if I can explain it. We're going to duel the raw dorm and then win. There's more to that. We're gonna need to meet our, uh, well, our uh, coach in air quotes since we're being drafted um, tomorrow around two, especially since I have a call with my grandma at two. So we're gonna talk about that stuff. We gotta make sure no one else knows. And if we lose, which won't happen, um, he might get into trouble and so will us. But we're already in raw, so how much more trouble can we get to, right? Hold on. Oh, oh, oh wait. You put someone else's life on the line for this? What's your girl uh, gonna do with that? You, you coming in here too? Listen, you're, listen. You're, okay. First of all, I knew you, points to Benny, would jump on this because you have a strong sense of justice, especially since you blame yourself for bringing us to the other world. So you probably would have went along with this eventually. You over there, Talzin. Hi, I'm Talz. You, you have an <laughs> ego and... We would love to see it get stroked. And I'm sure you would love to stroke your ego and defeat those Raws, correct? It was on my list. I was eventually going to see if I could, you know, skip Raw entirely since I was already in there, but you know. See, we're speeding this along, which also will give, uh, give us positive attention. And as for you, Gregor, you are honestly 50 50, so I had to force you to be signed up. So I do love a gamble. You actually won this one, girl. You won this one. 20 no, minutes just... ago, I would have said no. <clears throat> I know two no. pretty raw girls that are in trouble. Don't you want to help them, Karakor? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we say it like that. <laughs> if you help them, I might share. The point is, Ra needs help because people should be able to do however they want and whenever they want, rather than having the decks dictated. Now, we just need to find our fifth. And you said you know a guy, correct? I know a guy. Well, considering I know, I know a few very few guys including all of you right now i'm gonna guess it's i'm thinking i'm thinking what was that part about the teacher getting in trouble it's sam right yes yeah, sam him yeah sam yes but i have to run it yeah. by him so but you know perfect otherwise i'll just get nadia but you know i want you guys to decide because i'm a team player are you and a team player idea. if you draft us exactly that's not player. no no that's not what i said you L that's listen not, that's right. i'm that's the right. shack and this is the bulls we're gonna win 
I'm sorry, Rocco. I don't Rocco. think we call ourselves the Bulls. I'm gonna no, be honest with No, that's no problem. I'll wait. So, <laughs> about the teacher. The teacher you said is has their likelihood because of all... Never mind, I'm going to bed. I mean, is I'm it... going to train. Is it Wells okay. or... Oh, no, no, no. It's Jones. Really great guy. Jones. Which one was he again? Obelisk dude. He looks stressed all the time, probably because he's the only teacher who actually does a job. Okay, oh, now I understand what you're talking about. Oh. Why the hell are we doing a, an obelisk stool? It doesn't because... matter. Exactly it's... what Benny's saying. He's like halfway right across, he's like going from the door like, it doesn't matter. No, no, say what you're saying, Benny. Hold on, I have to BRB. <laughs> Alright, you BRB, you BRB, then you come back. You pee really bad. You BRB <laughs> and you come back stronger. I thought I was getting into character by getting into distance. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move people around the map that need to be moved. Hold on. Yeah. You're probably closer to the dorm now. You guys are probably at the dorm at this point. Uh, why are you still hanging out outside, Wells? Get fucking back in there. Uh, He's been trying to find a weak spot in the security so he can start digging again. Uh, Sorry about that. Bella, go ahead and go ahead and go into into the the practice area. That way you can get better for the inevitable next time you have to try to defend your honor against going into okay. a skimpy outfit. Uh, Sorry about that. I'm back. All right, we're good. Okay. It doesn't matter. It seems this Jones has been placed in a position they can't get out of. For Jones, I think we should do this. Yes, specifically for Jones. Eh, I guess I can have the opposite teacher on me shit. Seems good to me. I have to admit, it's a pretty good point. To be fair, he wanted to be in Rock. He uh, wanted to be in Slifer. Sorry, he wanted to be in Slifer. <laughs> You're playing all areas to make sure everyone's on board. Because he was, because he was a Slifer when he graduated. <laughs> Yeah. And apparently he graduated as as the top student in Slifer, even though he was in Slifer. <laughs> Point is, we're in good hands. We probably have a week, maybe less. Oh now, boy. You you go on your date and I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I could not find a single person to duel. This is like duelist blue balls. So I guess you don't want to watch the duel happening. <laughs> I guess like it'd be torture. even worse. Mm, dual cucking, I see. Yeah, now move. What? You're not into that? <laughs> no, don't make me come over there. Ah. <laughs> She's sticking her tongue at you. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I, mean, I can tick my, I can stick my tongue somewhere else, but you, I'm pretty sure she doesn't want me to. Jeez. Fine, I guess I won't tell you about that secret I found out. I mean, he can just tell us it's back anyway. Nah, I just keep it to myself. <sighs> I can't believe you're gonna make me watch someone's duel. Ugh. <laughs> you I said mean, you said you said it would be table? you said it would be torture in front of her. They want you to watch now. <laughs> One second, let me get changed and then I'll go. Mm. You. <laughs> Why the fuck do we have so many sadistic women here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get first, cursed. I might as well be what we're wearing something proper for the occasion. First, Raku, then whatever this bitch's name is. What are you switching into? Uh, can I have the maid outfit? You it's can't switch into the maid outfit! Why are you? Bye. It's a beautiful yeah, monk for sadistic women. Into the, 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 the. <laughs> oh, casual, there we go. Alright. <laughs> it's actually funny you would call this casual, because, like, this feels a lot more casual. Yeah, casual. It's, more casual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's her sweat. This is super cash. This is just yeah. cash. Super cash. Oh, yeah. This is lazing around yeah. the house slash exercise. Uh, let's get this over with. At this point, this Talison, is my ass kicking outfit. Talison, you're wanting to go and duel. Uh, Kate, you're uh, at risk of at risk of not getting information. Uh, you are getting forcibly cucked. Um, yeah. Gregor and Benny. Do you guys want to watch the duel, or what do you guys want to do? Benny is going to bed. Benny, <laughs> you make your way up to bed. <laughs> I, I love this dynamic of you do not want anything to do with each other. Let us go to the same room later and sleep separately. <laughs> <laughs> 
Benny is going to take a nap because I don't think it's actually nighttime. Oh, it's getting but... there. It's like right at the edge. We're edging. We are right. edging. Then he's going to lie to himself and say he's going to fall asleep. Okay, good. Oh my god, this... Really? this I cannot believe that by going to college we got way hornier <laughs> characters. Go. No, no, it makes Ooh. sense. <laughs> oh, I was worried about foreign college, but all right. <laughs> okay, is this a dry campus? <laughs> yes. They Fuck. took away. They took away your phones so that you couldn't be on social media. You think they're gonna let you get drunk? I mean, who's gonna record us <laughs> being drunk? <laughs> oh, that's what a dry campus means. <laughs> I know what you are thinking. <laughs> Don't worry, I also had no idea. <laughs> Actually, you don't know what I was thinking. No, I was Ooh. talking about phones. <laughs> ah. But yeah, Gregor, you want to you want to go back to your dorm? You want to watch them? What's going down? I absolutely want to watch two girls go down on a guy. Absolutely. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> As you guys get around Raku, Benny goes up and just like, I need to go train. Closes door. Goes to sleep forever. Lays on bunk. <laughs> <laughs> Benny gets up early, man. Benny has to go and get up early and feed geese. He's fucking tired. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. Follow me. All right. Actually, it was the social situation that got him. Yeah, yeah for us, are going to watch two people duel. It feels like the perfect setup for a tag duel. Ugh. Like, come on, guys. We could tag duel here. Don't you want to tag duel? <laughs> Shut up, <No>. duel junkie. <laughs> 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 oh, you are so lucky that I let him duel you first. <laughs> and I get to duel her a second time. <laughs> yeah, you do. And I'm respecting your wishes. As you guys <laughs> go with. I like how there's no collision here, so it makes Gregor seem even smaller. I'm sinking into the ground. <laughs> you found a sink you found a spiritual sinkhole. You head back into the area, you find you find your guys again. Alright, I'm good. As I'm gonna have to like fucking get rid of like this and like just make like a black background for like the the transparent part so that there's actually fucking collision. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. as you guys all get there, uh, Talison, you find yeah. that as they are readying themselves, they seem to put a dual disc on themselves. You see what appears to be an academy disc. Only from what you can tell, the uh, the area what should have uh, the small little uh, areas that hold on to where the color is, uh, the like little shells that they put on there for the different colors of the dorms, seems to have been taken off entirely and just kind of left uh, left open. You can even see wiring underneath. This girl is metal. They're just like, <laughs> I took this from someone and I took off the shell because I don't care. <laughs> Hell yeah. They essentially have a scrap disc at this point. Um, yeah. But like, you know, a little bit more modern looking as you get there. So I mentioned that I saw a little secret and I'll let you know about it if you win. How about that? All right. That but only like if she watches the entire time. Well, you heard okay? <laughs> Fine, though, afterwards, I get to do you one time, anytime. Though not today. Uh, we'll see. If I win, if I win, I might just I might just want to duel somebody anyway. You that being win. said, wow. what do I get if I win, Talison? Mm. I mean, I have money, but I don't know if you. I'll take money. <laughs> All right. Take <laughs> donations. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a lot. On How campus. about we go with you win? I'll give you the secret. I win, since you are so confident, I get half. Half my money? Mm -hmm. Sure. Half <laughs> my money right here on my on my uh, card right now. What you got? All right. Then. I need to see. How much is this? It's going to be very awkward when we have to have oh. this later. Don't oh. worry. You, you Don't worry. You're not going to lose. It's fine. I'm not going to lose. The... <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't lose. As... <clears throat> Sounds fair to me. 
Damn, this is this is high stakes. That's 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 20k potentially. <laughs> is this secret yeah. warp 20k unclear? But you know, Thank unclear. You, River. But I Gabe, don't have much else to offer. Sixty dollars. Saying, wait a second, doing something stupid and dangerous because a pair of girls. Hey guys, I found Magnus. Here you go, Lindo. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Thank Damn. <you>. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I come from a long line of Magnuses. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Gregor can't be a Magnus. Magnus went to the spirit world. It's true. I mean, Magnus could have a cousin. But would that Ma would that cousin have had the Magnus Magnus and touch? It's a 50 50. It's a 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> As we get into the duel, they pull out their duel disc, they get things ready. Let me grab their thing, because I think that there's one thing I need to change <laughs> with their deck. Because, yes, I did not get the one thing out. Uh, because they would be using a duel AI, because everybody can. Hooray, duel AI! Yeah. So Do I'll people say speed? theirs will when be... I... What was that? I forget, when it comes to duel AI, do they see what our duel AI is, or is yep. it face down? You can see. Okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Just making sure. We will go. Because I sure as with... fuck don't know what what they do yet. We will go with. They only have a couple of those, so I don't want them to. They actually have. They actually have too many of those. They have to. This is so funny. They technically have an illegal <laughs> deck. Oh god. But they're not a student, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Like we're not arresting her it's fine i will i will uh i will get rid of one of these and i'll make it i'll make it the dual ai just to help out <laughs> they uh they have uh they had three spike cedras in their deck <laughs> so i'm gonna get mm -hmm. rid of i'm gonna get rid of them you love your cedras Girl. Dude, also, guys, I don't know how it could be 19. I have 39. I don't think half of a nine number is another nine. You don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, we'll give him one more. Of these. There we go. All right. Oh, I guess it is. I'm wrong. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, I guess it's because of the 500 at the end of it. That's why. <laughs> You're a 500. That fuck with the math. You're a 500. I apologize, chat. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass playing a smartass, and I don't know how this is going to work for throughout this campaign. No, this, this actually works fine. perfectly. It just works. <laughs> <laughs> if they're going to continue in this, in this academy, they need to fucking they need to fucking get their illegal deck up to code. They catch her, not because of anything she's done, but because she has an illegal deck. They'll fucking get you for that one. I guess I'll it's really right funny that, that she's picking this this creature. Yeah, it it's is. It's very funny. It's their, it's, their, it's their strongest. It's their strongest one. That's her A's now. <clears throat> God, I have two of them. <laughs> All right. It's just good cards. It's great cards. Now put me where the window I'm is. I'm doing it. I know you are. That's why I said it to be in a little I'm bit of an ass. I'm doing it because it's funny to me. Um, do. <laughs> Alrighty. Get to the two. Let me get the music going. Betting? We should do betting. Do betting. Bet on me. Slash. I'll win. Maybe. God, what 50, is it? 50 percent of the time, it works out. Hundred percent of the time. Listen, listen, man. My deck isn't bad as far as I understand it. I just had a very bad time because it's 60 card. It's a good point. It's fine. Just draw the out. Prediction. That's it. That's Just draw the out. Talison win. Start prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talison win. Why? N. Boom. Don't show this again. There we go. We have Talison win. It's actually Talison whim. <laughs> I mean, he did agree to this duel on a whim. So, yeah, exactly, you know. exactly, exactly. <clears throat> Will Talison whim? 
I mean, hell, I was, I was like, I only I gave it, I, I only gave want. it like 30 seconds. You gotta get in there, get in there, guys. <laughs> get, oh no! What have you done? So why fast. did you, why did you cuck them like this? <laughs> I didn't mean to. The cucking episode. The cuckening begins. <laughs> it's over. The predictions are over. I mean, Magic K <laughs> is pretty fucking good, all things considered, for for these bettings. Let's hope that everybody who wanted to bet got in. There'll be more duels today, not. probably. Hooray. Oh. Duel day. You put in one. <laughs> That's the best. That's the best way to way to way to do the predictions. Just put in one. One. If you double it, you get two. All right, everybody. Let me change the music. What is what is the what is the battle rights music for today gonna be? It's gonna be. Oh. Ooh. She gets the Satros and Minardi. Fucking let's go. Damn, this girl got a fucking battle theme and everything. I'm just upping the volume on that one. Holy crap! Hell yeah! I'm just gonna keep shuffling. You know my what? I can I can see I I can see Raku fucking hanging with Satros and Minardi from Golden Sun. All right. This bitch. Society <laughs> <coughs> goes first. Neither of you really understand what your dual AI can do, so that's great. Hey. Thirteen and twelve. Let's go. Okay, so we draw and see who goes first, and see, and I'll see who goes first. You decide from your first five or six or whatever. You know what? You can go first. That might be a mistake. I draw. Hmm. Let's go with one card face down and a monster in defense mode. All right. Pretty easy. I draw, I guess. I didn't say it was your turn. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, this is just really funny then. Let's start off with, uh... Phantasm Citra. Oh! <laughs> there, there is no collision on these. There's no snapping. Nope. No snapping. <laughs> I will fix the snapping later. <laughs> no more snap. Well, throw one card face down, and I guess, I guess I'll have to, have to attack your face down. You attacked my shining angel. <laughs> oh damn! When it's destroyed, I can get a light monster with 1,500 less attack from my deck and put it in attack mode. Let's go with. Hmm. It's one of these where I want to do. And I guess with that, I'll get another Shining Angel. All right. You done? Mm, I'm done. I'll draw. Mm. Gotta say, this duel already feels like it's starting off far better than last time. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Interesting. Then let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to go ahead and. Set one more card face down. Hmm. <coughs> and I'll summon a second Shining Angel in attack mode. All three of them. Mm-hmm. And then I'll have Shining Angel attack your Phantasm Cedra. All right. I don't know why you would do that, but all right then. What did it do? <laughs> all right, at the start Chad of my battle phase. Know. Because at the start of my battle phase, I'm going to activate 
yellow can horn in my hand. <laughs> Chad, he didn't know. How now much? I'll Wait. have Shining Angel attack because it's supposed to be the start of the battle phase. My bad. Uh, let me see here. How much is it gains this card? So that becomes a 26. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Kunai with chain. Oh. I'm guessing and I'll just change changes. your monster to defense mode <laughs> and equip it to Phantasm Cedra to increase it by 500. So while next turn you would be able to probably kill it because it'll only be a 2400. <laughs> <coughs> May as well save it for later. Interesting. Hmm. Can't say I was expecting that. I guess I'll end my turn. All right, then. I'll draw. Hmm. For now, oh, I pressed, I'll summon. Uh, I pressed space and it's shifted me far away from my, my guards. <laughs> oh, damn. For now, I'll summon. X head cannon in attack mode. Ooh. And now go to the battle phase. X head cannon will attack. Not Shining Angel, because Shining Angel has a lot lower attack. I mean, defense right now. So they'll attack this Shining Angel. I think it doesn't. Let me look. During the turn, this card starts. He's attack and defense. It was during the turn, though. During the turn? Oh. Yeah, so he's down to mm. a uh, 800. Mm. That's fine. He'll attack uh, the, he'll attack the defense Shining Angel then. Okay. When Shining Angel goes to the grave, I can get another monster. This time we'll go with. This time we'll go with Lightning Dragon Raiden. Then, I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't do this. Phantom Seed, Phantom Seeder will attack your Lightning Beast Raiden. They look to Raiden. As they do, they give a smirk. You notice life points go down, but not in the way you think. First off, I yeah. need to give myself life points. Doo, doo, doo. I'm gonna sacrifice 500 of my life points to activate my dual AI's ability. I'm gonna turn one of my monsters into a thunder monster. I choose my shining angel. With my shining angel as a thunder monster. Doo, 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 doo. Let me make sure that I am correct with my thing here. No, that is, that's the wrong dual AI. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wrong dual AI. Don't forget also what I said. Did, <laughs> also, you should also minus some life points from the first shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to lose uh, 400. <laughs> you don't, don't know worry shit, about it. Girl. You don't know shit. Anyway, that's 1900 then, right? Uh, The first one. No, no. The second one is what I'm saying. Oh, the second one, this attack right now. There oh, it's 2400. Oh, right. Because he has a uh, fucking yeah. kunai. Yee. All together, I'll be taking 28 then. I'll get Yee. back that 500 because I did not do that. That was the wrong. That was the wrong one. Phantasm Cedra does not have that dual AI ability. <laughs> Don't worry. You forget what I said. Forget it. Don't, Don't remember it. <laughs> I'm bad at remembering details like that. Good. It's fine. As Raiden goes to the graveyard. And then X head cannon will destroy. No, wait, that was on my attacks. <laughs> I, I was thinking of that. Yeah, I'll place one card face down and end my turn. Do, 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 do. I'll draw. Hmm. I don't know if that would help. Will that help? Hmm. Kind of.
kind of would. That seems like a waste. I mean, would it be cool though? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't even bother. Air. Hmm. I'll set one monster in defense mode, and I'll shift my shining angel to defense mode, and in my turn. All right, but I'll draw. You do have hmm. a lot more step in you this time. Of course I do. It's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've never tried being cute. I've more been handsome. Anyway, let's see here. That's the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Allison just looks like, whose side are you on? <laughs> whose side are you I'm on? I'm not sure. I guess, I guess, I don't know. I came out Talison, of Allison like turns around. Whose side are you? Gregor's not there. Gregor's over here. <laughs> I switch sides now. <laughs> Switch team to blue, if you know <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> well, let's make this even more interesting. I summon Starship Magitech Core and immediately equip it to X Head Cannon. Yep. X Head Cannon, being both a machine and a normal monster, gains 900 attack. Yep. Becoming a 20. You can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> 2700. 20, yeah, 2700. Mm -hmm. For now, Seizure will attack your face down. You attack my theme reflection, Mirage. <laughs> <coughs> and then, X Head Cannon will destroy your other your final shining angel and let's see if i have anything else to bring out do, 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 do. nope but free shuffle free shuffle is <laughs> always good but that i end my turn <sighs> let's see how this goes draw wonderful I'm going to place down one card. Uh, how best to do this? Because if I set you, then I can't activate you. Uh, I guess we just give up the special summon, huh? And then I'm going to normal summon Bubble Man in defense mode. Ooh, Bubble Man. Whenever Bubble Man's the only, um, uh, whenever Bubble Man is the only other card, no cards, ah. Other than spell track runs. Yes, I did it. Fuck yeah. I forgot it's anime bubble man. Go me. <laughs> when bubble man's the only monster on my field other than uh that or the only card on my field other than spell and trap cards that summoned it. No, it isn't it. Okay, I did make it fair. Good. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to activate metamorphosis on him. Ooh. In order to summon. Elemental hero, Neo Bubble Man. Oh wait, could I have special summoned? I could have special su Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Man, I gotta learn my own fucking tactics. It doesn't matter anyway, because I couldn't have got the I couldn't have got the uh the things from that. Yeah. With Neo Bubble Man on the field. Any time, any time a monster battles with him, I can destroy that monster at the end of the damage step. Hmm. Interesting. However, I kind of can't do any battle right now. So, I guess I'll end. All right, then. I'll draw. Hmm. I'll throw down a face down. Hmm. hmm. I'll throw this guy in defense mode. And. Well, I want to get rid of him, so I guess this will just be. 
a bit of a sacrifice, but Phantasm Seedra will destroy Bubble Man. Attacking Bubble Man, Bubble Man will be destroyed, I believe, but so will your Seedra. Yeah, that's what I said. Making sure, actually. Can I do this? No, it's not an effect. Okay. Bloop. 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 And then X Head Cannon will attack you directly. Ugh, 2700. Nah! And that will be it for my turn. <sighs> Where was this last time? Again, I just didn't have good draws that time. In fact, the only thing that I had that was even added was Seed. was Seedra. Well, I guess it's time to see if I can do anything about that. I'm going to activate my toy robot box. Ooh. By discarding a card, I can special summon three robot tokens onto my field. They can't declare an attack, but they can be used for summons if I let them live a turn. Mm. Do -do -do. One robot token, two robot token, three robot token. I see. That'll be me. All right, then. I draw. I'll throw one card face down. Mm. Fuck it. I summon Wicked Shadow Buyer, and then I will flip up Gradius in attack mode. Ooh. Just so, people, just so people understand how <laughs> dual AI work, you now that you have summoned Gradius, you feel like you can now use your dual AI. <clears throat> like you can now summon it if you ever wanted to. If I ever wanted to. Okay. Once this card is gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Ooh, cool. You have to play and lose the card first, and then at any time, you can just be like, I summon my dual AI. Oh. Yeah. We've learned something today. We've learned. Anyway. That's why I it's really good to have a high level dual AI, but a lot of the lower level dual AI can get better effects. Yeah. I will have all three of my monsters attack your three tokens. Ooh. Give me one second to read effects again. No, all right. All three Damn. are down. Damn. She's getting destroyed. She is getting They're, destroyed. She's getting fucking her <laughs> ass handed door. Yeah, I don't mind watching this. Okay. I end my turn. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> oh, you got her out of breath now. Mm. I mean, you do that to people. Pretty one sided. <laughs> you take their breath away? <sighs> I take their breath away. You're right. That a boy. Well, hmm. Yeah, even with even with the actual effect of Phantasm Cedra, this wouldn't be enough. Shit. <laughs> I summon Surge Bolt Raitoka in attack mode. Ooh. Surge Bolt Raitoka, because they're a thunder monster, is going to get a boost from my Phantom Cedra. A boost of 300 points. Mm -hmm. Which again, is not even, it's still not enough. <laughs> it's still not enough. Raitoka, attack your Magitech Starship Gradius. All right. I will take see here i take 600 damage i believe mm -hmm. well no it's he's nine he's 1900. yep and you are 12 right you take 700. yeah you take 700. yeah 700. they didn't end their turn all right i draw my money <laughs> <laughs> not my one bit everybody's like my money <laughs> Damn it, I can't sleep. 
I guess I'll watch the duel. <laughs> I mean, I guess we just go for the finish. X head cannon destroyed Thunderbolt Surge Bolt Ractoka. I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be with the increased attack that is 27 so that'd be 800 points oh perfect amount perfect amount perfect amount mm. don't tease her do it bm <laughs> i in my turn you <laughs> fuck <laughs> babe what are you doing you Rolling have an evil in there <laughs> When has it ever been in character for Talison to be him? <laughs> when has it ever been in character for Talison to do something like that? They draw their last card. They look their to it. Their last pathetic card. They look to it and then they just... <sighs> you want to know the secret that bad, huh? <laughs> I guess I do. I guess I'll let you win. They put their hand over their deck. <laughs> Good duel. Well, you got Sadiko. The victory. Sadiko, I just want you to know something. Go ahead. Had you actually summoned Bubble Man with his effect, I would have had Cyber Tyranno to come out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've had What'd you Kevin's have down here? starting hand. Oh yeah, I had that i could use gold, it to save yeah. like radius but didn't i Trap have that stop, to stop Ooh, traps Ooh, nice and then i just played him so this deck has a very oh. specific purpose if you remember <laughs> yeah it's just about stopping you from destroying cards but you don't have any effects that destroy things so they couldn't use oh. any of them <laughs> mm Hmm. Before we pack Good up time. what have we drawn next before we pack up let's decide what you're getting Oh, I'm not getting anything. Y'all gonna grab anything? I'm not interested no. in your book. She shouldn't grab anything time. for me the first time, and I won't grab anything for her. All right. In fact, she gave you something, so, you know. Yeah. Feels like you, feel like you need, to, need to return the favor and give her something. Yeah. <laughs> you are reciprocated. Receiver. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Fun. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I told totally you. got it, baby. I didn't this even do the, the main hater. thing of the deck. Oh, I didn't, I just say, did the I didn't think you... I didn't think I didn't think that uh, that you had, didn't have a chance. I'm just like, damn! It was like, like back and forth. The first the first time you guys dueled, you didn't get shit. Second time, I had one thing, and then it was immediately destroyed by Kunai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the biggest thing I got in the entire game. Yeah, man. They need oh. to fix their deck. They need to fix it. They need to get. They need to get a get a regulation academy deck. And I didn't even do any, like, any, like, extra deck or anything. This is fucking great. Cedra has a fun effect, but it can only be used after it's summoned. So until she got her other Cedra in her deck, which she never got, she couldn't use her other, uh, her other, um, uh, fucking, um, uh, dual AI effect. Mm-hmm. I forget. What did she give me? Uh, she gave uh, you Cedra. Cedra. <laughs> She gave me Cedra, I see. Yeah, and then you killed it on her. You yeah, monster. I did that. Then you strangled in front of her eyes. I love that it's so in character for fucking Talison to just be like, nah, I'll be him. <laughs> I'll be him. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, if it weren't, if I were fighting another student, you have no idea the amount of BM that was about to unfold. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, that was it's just like next turn. I draw. Uh, I do this. End my turn. You're just like draw one card. Don't even look at it. I end. <laughs> you know, just all right. Take yourself can. out. <laughs> there you go. And he will hand over a fucking baby boy, <laughs> unstable prototype oh, cannon. No, don't put your unstable prototype card cannon in her. They're gonna ask for consent first. There you go. She, I think you need it. She looks now at the we card. Now Talisten, fat friend. She looks at the card and looks back, and she's just like, <laughs> I can tell that we have a 
similar sense of humor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good job, I guess you weren't. AI. Good job, I guess you weren't. You, I guess you weren't all talk after all. I'm not. I always back up what I can do. It's just you know, luck of the draw happened the first time. So I guess at some I won't, point I won't need... blame it on that. It's beneath me. Mm -hmm. So I guess at some point, since you have one win, I have one win. We'll probably need to duel another time to see who comes out as the actual winner. Oh, well, now that a I breaker. well, now that I know you guys can get more cards from that uh, lady downstairs, I guess I'll see what I can do there. Speaking of which, I guess I'll tell you the little secret. You guys were followed the last time. Really? Do you know by who, what they yeah, look like? The like. Fogs are like... Uh, blonde guy in a hoodie. Blonde guy in a hoodie. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. He saw yeah, you go, this... he saw you go okay. down the well back there, and then after you guys came back up, he went down after. He's huh? the senior. Um, yeah, no, he's, he an, was... he's in a dorm. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll dorm is the blonde guy with a purple hoodie right a pink yeah yeah there's a blonde guy does he, have, does he have a purple hoodie that's like a thing i have no idea who y'all are talking about <laughs> we know we're talking you about. heard him the other time yeah time he was like hey stop They're talking talk. about this girl that's what his voice sounds like they might have heard that. about him benny I'm kidding. I'm kidding. benny <laughs> just over on like the balcony like yelling <laughs> into the forest he's like stop talking about the geese i hate the geese he doesn't I mean, like it do you Welcome know really he stepped out? Hmm? That guy. Oh, he hasn't came back yet, from what I can tell. <laughs> Guess he not. I don't know. Well, uh, she said she had no power, which means we should probably go check up on them. She said that she could maybe do one more the last time. Oh, you one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, all right. Time to swoop in. <laughs> he says we need to make sure he does a snitch on our place. Imagine if the whole school got wind of this. That's a good point, that's a good point. Remember, we weren't even sure of talk, telling Dr. Wells now. This guy has a place, especially since, you know, he wants to make sure his life is on top. Who knows what's going to happen? I'll be honest, we didn't really try to keep that much of a secret. We were pretty openly talking about it in front of the dorms. And they're yeah, pretty to be involved. Fair, who would believe us? Mm-hmm. Regardless, I, mean, I guess we gotta go make sure he didn't. Believe us. That's the way that... I guess we should go make sure he didn't like fall and break his leg and didn't get caught by anything. I guess so. Make sure he didn't fall into the trauma dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like, I don't oh my want... god, what is this over here? <laughs> Accidentally unlocks a different tower dungeon. <laughs> they made him go for Briska's backstory. Congratulations, believers! Great job, great Thank job. Thank y'all for believing in me. How many did did I believe? Uh, I mean, a good number of people believed. There was, it was a 75 against 25. Mm -hmm. 75% for since 25%. And they had faith. We did it. Well, I did it. Because I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you well, we as best. betters did great. Y'all bet I didn't. As you guys start making your way off uh, toward the, um, uh, toward the, uh, the well, to the two. Benny will nod knowingly and then go back to his room. Benny, you were like just within like sight of them as you heard them talking. The last little sign uh, from it being that that guy had learned of uh, of the the underground. You just want to go back to bed. At first he does, but then he actually gets up and starts training his cards oh oh first talisman was going through their deck now you're making through your deck let's go you're doing deck push-ups and by that i mean you're lifting the deck up every now and then and putting it back down <laughs> yeah my training will make me strong <laughs> he's practicing his shuffle you guys he's practicing his shuffle. you guys get back around here as you guys do uh, get over toward the well. Uh, you do find that uh, the uh, well does not have the uh, the uh, elevator up. You call down to try to get down to it. As you do, it is lifted up. You go down. 
you find uh as raku just says yeah i'm not going down there um <laughs> she'll eventually go down to the cards but not now well i mean there's no point right now right you're you yeah, guys exactly. already said out loud you can't do it right now <laughs> that's why i said at some point as you guys go okay. down you guys do see that gamble bunny is uh sitting off at the off at the end where you guys had left her uh she appears to be looking back at you guys she gives a wave oh, good evening hello okay. Apparently there's some blonde guy here. <laughs> oh, yes, your friend left just a little while ago. No, uh, he's not a friend. Great. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of followed us, I guess. I guess we yes. weren't paying that much attention when we came here. Oh, well, he had quite a lot of quite a lot of dual points. So he was wanting to get a lot of cards. I told him that I could only give him so many. And uh, by the end, he took everything that I could that I that I could have made for him. Wow, that note was loaded. Good he's for him. A, he's a third year. Yeah, <laughs> sure is a third year. Do you know what? Did he mention? I was a third year at my college, and I didn't have that much money. Yeah. Your college doesn't give you money by by doing the thing you do in college. <laughs> I sure hope they did. <laughs> well, I meant like during college. <laughs> yeah, I meant to say I hope they did. I wish they would have too. It would have been great. But no, did instead mention... they don't celebrate daylight savings time and fuck us all over all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you, well, you say celebrate, but it's like not. Mandatory. I think we're, I think we're the wrong for having daylight. I agree, but until we get rid of it, everyone needs to follow it for my for my benefit. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, <laughs> did he mention anything that he was going to do with the cards, or did he just leave? Uh, he seemed rather excited afterwards. I told him that he can come back anytime, just like I told all of you. Um, and, uh, he said he was going to, I guess he was going to go test them out. Ah, great. Why would you go to test cards out? Well, mm. he's a cipher third year. I don't think that he would, if he's smart, he wouldn't compromise this place. I mean, that's if he's smart. Do we know if he's smart? It's like, if he's smart, he wouldn't compromise this place. And then you guys remember, like, there's a slight echo in the trauma dungeon. Slifer, third year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, get sweaty he's bad. probably going to try and use his power straight away. So we probably have to stop him as soon as we can. The problem is we have to think like a third year Slifer. Where would you go? The last person who wronged me. Which would be... <laughs> what, no, what did you say? The last person who wronged me. Uh, no, no, thank you Holy for... fuck. <laughs> I mean, fuck. That man, was instant. That yeah, was fucking instant. Okay, and would that person he wronged you be in the first year? No, not first year. Third... Oh, well, I know who then. Nadia. Yeah, I'll be my guys. He's gonna go to Nadia because Nadia beat him recently. Which means we would have seen him at the dorms unless we missed each other in the forest. Probably. Wait, if you yeah. just left and we better start swinging, right? We left a yeah. while ago. Oh, well, oh, okay. whatever, it's fine. Maybe she's dead, I don't know. He probably left a while ago, he was probably working on his deck. You know, we just probably gone the freshman killer. Maybe he was actually the freshman killer. I mean, <laughs> she's probably not gonna lose. That's the thing. He's probably gonna get annoyed. Freshman killer? Yeah, it's just like, you know, he was always trying to like brand him up and it was like we thought it'd be really funny to turn that back on him and just call him a freshman killer, but that literally made no sense. Ah. Uh, I never agreed to that nicknaming. You weren't there. <laughs> yeah, this is a life thing. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Just gonna I, make sure that. I didn't agree to it. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> You guys make your way out. Uh, as you do, you go up from the uh, uh, from the thing. You make your way back to the well. You see Raku sitting there. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I'm guessing you knew he wasn't down there anymore. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't he see was any, a while ago. I don't see anything. I don't see any signs of a scuffle. So I guess he wasn't. Mm. Uh, he got his cars by pretending to be friends with us. Which isn't technically a... I mean, it's weird. But I mean, you want cards, you can do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah, but 
We just have to figure out what he's doing with those cards again. I mean, what else is he gonna do with those cards? Make a little pile? No, he's either selling them or he's trading them or he's using them. I could think of him going after Nadia again or going to, you know, try and beat one of the obelisks. Why would you go straight to an up third year, right? Slifer, right? <laughs> and, you Slifer! Know, they can still oh, hear it from the... coming from, like, the, the well, like, Slifer! Birdie! <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, the Raws aren't really dueling from what you've right. told us. Oh, oh yeah, they're not doing that. that. Great, let's go to Obelisk, Dom. Let's, let's at least check on Nadia first. Mm -hmm. True, true. You guys find your way back to the main dorm. Uh, <laughs> as you guys do, you... Uh, rush up Kate to go to Nadia's room. As you do, you knock on the door. You see the door opening, and you see Nadia just like sitting, just like sitting there. Uh, it is later now. Uh, we are getting into actual night territory. Ooh. Uh, as you go, as you rush up and go up there, and you knock on said door. It's a little bit too purple. It kind of looks like the Shadow Realm. Give me a second. Yeah, I can't believe that's Shadow Realm. There we go. Shadow Realm. Purple guy. <laughs> purple guy. Boy, you're ready to for the purple guy. Uh, you go up to Nadia. Nadia answers the door. Uh, Jim's in the next room. They're not with Nadia. Um, they hey, look, Nadia. they just kind of like look forward, like, "Hey, what?" Give me one second. First of all, hey Nadia, glad you're fine. Also, you're fine. Speaking of, um, remember that guy who? Well, he's not fine. Um, remember that guy you dueled? Blonde hair, hoodie, third year, slifer. <laughs> Good evening, Kate. <laughs> you see their eyes like half open. They were like, they you obviously woke them up. <laughs> anyway, first of all, you look cute with your hair down. Second of all, if you remember that guy, um, he hasn't approached a dom. I'm guessing. They look up and they're like, "All oh, right, I didn't, I didn't let it down." They take the thing out of their hair. The, <laughs> uh, uh, the guy. Uh... Oh, the one I dueled in front of the dorm, yeah. Yeah, uh, apparently he was following us when we got our cards. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm guessing you haven't seen them? Their eyes close. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, you go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Kaylin will lead her to her bed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it took her in as well. <laughs> You get uh, Nadia to the bed. Uh, Caitlin, Kate, why don't you roll me a, uh, roll me a, uh, do, 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 do. I looked at, I looked at Lil's thing. I don't need to look at Lil's thing. Roll me for your instinct. Is it, can I add smash? I'd say no. In this instance. In this instance. I'm just thinking about another no. guy, not the guy. I mean, the girls in front of me, don't worry. Let me set to one. First row, Ooh. 16, second row, 17 plus two plus yep, two, two more rolls, 21. Okay, <laughs> two more rolls, 18, Damn. 10, and last row, 18, 19, 19. If the sec if that first one was an 18, you would have been 16, 17, 18, 19. Damn it, that would have yeah, been perfect. That sucks. Damn it, I hate you. you free. <laughs> All right, game's over, guys. Game's over. We gotta go home. I don't know. Uh, you look inside as you find uh, they are uh, as you find they are laying themselves down there. They are they are laid out. You do see that there is another person in the in the dorm with you. You see over by where uh, the bedding is or by where the bed is. Uh, there is a person watching the two of you as you are putting them on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Evening to you too. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Uh, you haven't seen a third year uh, blonde hair, purple, purple pink hoodie? Oh, yeah, I know him. Why, what's up? Uh, uh, do you know where he would go to test out his deck if he got new cards? Test out his deck? We can't get new cards right now. The shops are closed. Hypothetically. Uh, hypothetically? Probably the same thing he always yells about doing. Freshman. Oh no! Going and taking out everybody over at the over at the park. They have a bunch of uh, dueling. Uh, they have a bunch of dueling rings there. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, your no name? problem. Hmm? Your name? I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice. You can call me Caitlin. You see them like reach down over the over the 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 side, like trying to reach down to like shake your hand. 
Nice to meet uh, you, I'll Caitlin. You, <laughs> I'm Drew. Nice to meet you, Drew. Uh, hopefully next time we can speak on better terms, but I want to make sure she gets to sleep. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah. They're just uh, watching. Uh, <laughs> You know, I would want to take you on an adventure, but I don't think I can. Anyway, good night. Is that supposed to mean something, or was that? Don't worry. All right, all right. Have a good They're night. Both. Oh, neat. Wiggles Have a good eyebrows. night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> I'm included. <laughs> you have a strange encounter with the person that is that is over top of where uh, Nadia is. As you're like, oh yeah, both, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 I want to stay, but I gotta go. <laughs> you make your there's, way out. There's nothing but hot women surrounding me, and I always have to leave. Damn. Maybe sometimes I shouldn't leave. I should just. I get stay. it, girl. Yeah. I get it. Bring it through. I miss my roommate Belle. <laughs> 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 they were great. They were great. 10 out of 10 in the maid outfit. <laughs> you make your way back down to Gregor and Allison, <laughs> thinking about your old roommate and all of the terrible things that they are now training to overcome. <laughs> she enjoyed it. The terrible, terrible thing. Hey, 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 we both want the pretty outfits. Scandalous thing. This party's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you were there for one week and you traumatized a girl for life. Call that efficiency. A month, but you know. Okay, um, he's probably at the dueling park. Should we grab Benny or eh. let him sleep? Let him, let him get his sleep. It's whatever. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think I he will me. not sleep. Shuffle, shuffle, <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. I think I'm gonna ask him. I think he, he, he seems to be awake. Yeah, with that, with that outburst, he seems to be awake. No, no, no. I'm he just, needs his no, rest, no, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna ask him. I think he's having one of those. No, moments. no, no he's on. definitely asleep. We don't need to bother him. No, no, I know when he's yelling asleep. This is yelling awake. <laughs> <laughs> yelling asleep. Benny, you feel a knock on the door. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Benny boy, Wait. it's me. Oh, okay. Opens the door. You still pretending to sleep? You know you don't sleep alone anymore, right? <laughs> It's hard to sleep. I'm trying to because I know it's good for me, but the thoughts the of thoughts? what we need to do. You mean like the, 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 the draft that we got put in? Not just that, but we have a responsibility with another world. We have finals coming up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, well, we always have finals coming up. Life is a series of finals, Benny Boy. Keep up. I've been reevaluating why I've come to this school and not to other schools, and never mind. I don't want to bore you with all the details. Turns dramatically. Uh, what do you want? Benny boy, you want to talk about it? You seem like you're sounding, you're going through a lot. I could just tell the others to go up about me if you're having a moment. I would like to talk about it. However, I cannot. For I should not burden you. Hey, Gregor, you. what's taking so long? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. You guys go on ahead, all right? Um, uh, no. Anything we should be concerned about? Oh, no, he... you go. <laughs> He's dying Greg... tremendously. <laughs> Gregor, <laughs> said, <laughs> Gregor said they have to go. The... I have not said okay, that. I'm go really ahead. Me. I feel very unwelcomed. Uh, I have already started walking away, Caitlin. You may as well catch up with me. I'm done with oh, hey, Jay, whatever's what happening up there. Here? <laughs> yeah. God, I wish we could just be roommates or something. Jeez. Me and you. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking out loud. I was thinking of Sam or Gregor or anybody else. <laughs> Life is really bad if you'd rather be with Gregor than Benny. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, gotta take that personally. <laughs> we're not allowed to, Kate. <laughs> Literally anyone else I see. <laughs> Fucking. 
<laughs> just Cake doing what uh, fucking Benny did. Why? Why weren't we allowed? Oh, yeah. I oh, know, she's aware. She's just like, man. You couldn't even say that. Case anyway. just sitting here like, yeah, they don't want to, they don't want us, uh, they don't want, they don't want guys and girls to be in the same place because there might be kisses. They didn't realize how much there is still going to be kisses. Yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't did realize realized. nothing was going to stop. They did not realize that I prefer this. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't if realize that the danger enhances it. <laughs> if they don't want co-ed, then they should have just stuck with Ed. We wish Ed was there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. As you uh, as as you say that, they will get a little bit away. They're not going to go all the way, uh, but they get a little bit away. Benny and Gregor, you are still there. Or what's going on? Do you have to have another ghost? Did it tell you something about your life that you have to now reconsider? I met with one of the teachers I believe was from Raw. I mean, somebody because of the yellow suit, right? Yes. Yeah, she was from Ra. They pointed out how I'm good at dueling, but I don't want to do dueling. And why am I here? And I don't. <laughs> the simple answer is I wanted to do this and then do zoology and, you know, but. Why did I choose this school? There are cheaper schools and there are cheaper and there are better courses. And yet I chose this because I thought, oh, I could do card games just fine. I mean, there's your answer. And That's why you came here. But I don't want to do competitive stuff it brings out the worst in people well i guess well i mean left the competition benny you can't just cut that straw out of your life there's always someone winning up it's a whole part of the thing but if i were to be competitive There are people in this world where to be competitive, they lose a bit of themselves. They become... different. I don't follow, don't... Manny. No, one point. <clears throat> Okay. There is a friend of mine who had a friend who knew an acquaintance. All right. And this friend, friend, acquaintance happened to... Who isn't me? <laughs> who is not me? <laughs> happened to actually have more kinship with people in the past doing books and nerdy things and all that kind of stuff and let's say this friend acquaintance whose friend, name is not Benny we'll call them Lenny <laughs> alright Lenny <laughs> so what does Len do Lenny they had another friend who got them into a card game. Uh, uh, clearly not this one, of course. Um, Dungeon Dice into, Monsters. Into the Digimon trading card game. Ooh, nice. I like that there is no change. This is actually literally the Digimon trading card game. It exists, yes, it exists in this one. <laughs> yeah, but there's like it's like itchy, but like no, literally Digimon. Yeah, it was it's just Digimon. It's, it's, it's yeah. great. There's an academy for it. The, it's based on the TV show Digimon Artificial Chaos. Yep. <laughs> they made an academy. 
Let me miss a TV show? Yeah. You know what? Sure, anyway. let's go with that. They're really good at they're really good at like uh at like um virtual duels and stuff like that you know it's like they spent all that money on the academy but unfortunately they didn't spend all the money to make the card game good they have to like do some they have to like use some filler dual monster cards in there sometimes (laughs) anyway so they got into the card game (laughs) that is digimon all right and they both had fun they drew cards together and it just seemed like another activity. And they did a few tournaments and Lenny won one of them. He was so happy he went to his friend who looked angry. They kept looking angry. Days, weeks later, go to the same tournament, and you duel them in the semifinals. You're excited at first, but you keep seeing that angry face. They weren't the same person, so... You surrender. And after you surrender, they get angrier at you. You get scared of them. You notice that they took it more seriously than you and you insulted them. Lenny went to apologize, but he was struck. Not Knowing this kind of situation, he kind of stopped going to these tournaments, the game corner. Started to play online games instead, because at least then, if you see that angry face, it's a character. And if you feel that angry text in their text, You log out. All right. And what uh, what your friend Lenny do about the whole thing? Just. Love it. You want me? Give me a second. Yeah, I was thinking you're like, what's this music? (laughs) There we go. We're good. They just decided, even though they kind of liked the card game a bit and sometimes would go to the convenience store to get a pack or two, maybe Lenny, despite being hurt by those times, kind of misses those times. Gregor. Yeah? While this is happening, despite what's being said, you have a feeling he's not talking about Lenny. (laughs) Oh, shit. And you actually see on the table, you see the squirrel that's always with Benny. You see him on the table motioning to you and then motioning to him as if explaining to you that Lenny is Benny. <gasps> Thank you, little guy. <laughs> I make him a sign and it's like, thanks, dude. Anyway, sorry, continue. 
I wanted to get I wanted to give James a, a bit of a, a bit of a thing during this. <laughs> Hell yeah. I have something to confess to you. <laughs> All right. Well, what is it? There is no Lenny. Did he die? In a way, he became Blade Ruin. Oh, so you're Lenny. I get it. I under I see the connection now between the strings. But anyway, enough about that. How was your day? No, don't switch it off now. What are you talking about? <laughs> Isn't that what you do? Well, I hope not. It's, why would you just talk about something and you stop talking about it? But people do it all the time. I, I, it's like, oh, hey, mom, what's up? Oh, nothing. I, I, I just got into an argument with friends and I cried all day. How are you doing, Benny? Like that, that's how it does. That, that's how it goes. You notice as Benny is saying all of that, James is on the is on the uh, the desk, has tried to make a L and then cross out and put a B next to it, just so you understand. Okay, all right. I got it the first time, buddy. It's all right. You can... I got it the first time, and when he just said it out loud. Yeah, it's just fine. All right, I, I'm following now. I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb, dumb. All right. He starts trying to sign at you the, the a B, like he's like while they're having the conversation. This is you just see Gregor like also just signing back like no no I got it I'm done I'm done. So like like they're doing the be like Alphys does in Undertale to show you the answer. <laughs> I did not know that did that the first playthrough. Anyway, keep going. You have now learned something. No, I knew it. I knew it at the second playthrough. I did not know it in the first one. I can't you have learned something I... in the second playthrough. I think I figured it out at like the last few questions <laughs> or something. Well, Benny. All right. Now that we've went to the next of the dots, did you uh, did you ever talk to those friend of yours about why we were so mad? I. He rubs his cheek. I don't think they want to talk. Well, did you did you talk to them at the time? I tried, but it felt like I was making things worse by talking to them. Well, if you tried talking to them and it didn't work, and they didn't tell you I was wrong, and just kind of slapped you and never talked to you again or apologized and fuck him, right? I hope he's not doing that thing he did where he was blonde and had a hoodie. No, 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 no. I already know who. I already know who this is. Is not. They did not. They were not blonde and have a hoodie. <laughs> I mean nothing. <laughs> it would never have these two things. I mean nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you ever get an ominous feeling like <laughs> over your chest? <laughs> you, you ever feel like you just make lore and you filled in a blank for a character that wasn't You made that, that up! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't plan this shit? You just put that on a whole cloth? Why does this surprise you? I do this all the damn time. That is true. You are my DM. <laughs> I should expect this from you literally at least once a week. I'm just surprised that it's happening now. Benny. <laughs> like, like most of the Prisca mom stuff, it was mostly about the teacher when you wrote it. Yes. And then the mom <laughs> happened. <laughs> the dreaded mom lore got bigger and bigger. Anyway. Well, I'm just saying, like, there's only so many things you can do, Benny. And if this person didn't respect you and they didn't really like just just consider you a friend enough to actually tell you what's going on with them, then you don't have to hang out. You don't have to hang out with them. Your enjoyment of things shouldn't have to come from other people's stuff. I know, but I'm worried, you know? That you're like do things competitively and lose yourself in a weird like, I don't know, like an anime way? 
I didn't. But I only know that I didn't. Is that what you're worried about? Just getting too into it? Or that someone else you know might get too into it? Yeah. They were... They weren't like that before, and I don't know. When it stopped being a game, it stopped being like he was there. Or she, I don't know which character you decided, but... Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Transgender. It's fine, Benny doesn't see gender. I mean, they see it. They see it in one way, but not in the other way. <laughs> not in the other way. Well, listen, you're a strong guy, Benny, right? You're gonna no. let some kind of. I mean, so yes. <laughs> All right. Let's assume that you didn't blatantly lie right there. Well, I think you're a strong guy, even if you don't believe it in yourself. Beating the geese every day takes a lot more willpower than I ever wanted to do. Geese are simple. They are not. are not. <laughs> I, I couldn't handle someone snoring. I couldn't watch the duel because I was feeling too exhausted because someone made me feel uncomfortable. I'm not strong. And that's fine. But I'm just saying. You're at least here, right? May as well give it a chance. Oh, you think I was expecting to be here too? Something's things happened to us. You're in one of like what? Like the most prestigious academies in all these places? This is a very nice problem to have. You're right. I'll just do the best with what I have. I'll... As was told to me and my friend, I will let my heart be my guiding key. You do not know how funny that is. <laughs> you will learn how funny that is, but you do not know how funny that is. You walk and you see Riku. <laughs> <Yeah>. Riku. <laughs> Blade you win. <laughs> Riku, who is this? I thought we had something. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. You have Sano. I had to go meet new people. <laughs> but we're friends. I had to go meet new old people. <laughs> I can't believe we meet again. Red eyes. Oh! Dun, dun, dun. Blade. I, Blade Ruin Dragon, will stop you. Oh! Blade Ruin Dragon. Oh my What is God. going on? I Blade just... Ruin Dragon. I was going for Starbucks. What the hell is happening here? Oh, yeah, and so sorry. I'm Piranha, that's what I was doing while working as an editor for the pros. Blade Ruin Dragon. <laughs> okay, so sorry. when are we getting Blade Ruin Dragon? <laughs> sorry, okay, you're so you priority. humans consider. All right, I'll see you next week. <laughs> oh, it's Curse of Dry. Oh, indirectly. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a fucking Curse of Dragon supercharged. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see, it's always been Curse of Dragon because he always wanted to make it right. Okay. All right, we go, we go, we got it, we got we're it. Good, the joke's right. there. The we did over. it. Jokes are over. We did we it. We did it. We yoked. And now, if you ever want to duel, you can always just call me. If it makes you feel better about that thing, if it don't, if you want me to just go back to my bed, I'm not going to catch up with the other guys now. I'm going to just go to sleep. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe, maybe you can help me with something. Well, what's going on? Have you been making your deck with the school ground rules yet? Because um, I've been having trouble. 
Well, sure, if you need me to look over your, your, your deck for it to be, like, legal, then absolutely, yeah, sure. I'm so used to 40 card decks. Intentionally going 60 is driving me mad. Oh, how could anyone ever do that? A sign shows over his head that says he absolutely has done this before. <laughs> <laughs> has never gone under 60. <laughs> Two signs show up. Guy who has never show got under 60. Guy who has only ever had 60 cards. Later on, whenever I fucking let things be more lenient, fucking Gregor still just has 60 in the deck. 60 cards? <laughs> no, no, it becomes so lenient he has 70. Ah! <laughs> As we will go to Talison and Kate, who, as they left things uh, where they were, headed off in, uh, toward where the park was. You guys would notice there is a rather large gathering of people over at the park surrounding the, um, uh, the dueling grounds. And uh, you guys, we, this is where we have like a flashback of like you guys just talking. Let's like, if there were so many people here, how come Benny didn't mention it before? And then we just see Benny walking by, sighing after having their conversation with the raw teacher and just not paying attention <laughs> as like duels were <laughs> happening and like people were yelling. <laughs> no idea. Probably had his mind in the clouds. I'm playing. Um, <laughs> but as you guys. No, that is seriously what happened. There were too many noises and I had to leave. <laughs> As you guys come around, you see uh, many obelisks as well as a as well as a slifer student, uh, seemingly all in the I just lost a duel pose over by where the dueling grounds are, and over by um, uh, by them you see what appears to be the one you're looking for, the man's with the with the pink hoodie. Yeah. As you guys get there, you guys see Samurai uh, as well as another raw student or another Cypher student watching as he just like waves you guys over. Oh, hey, over here. Uh, hey, I guess we hey, found him. Uh, we found we were looking for someone. Yeah. I just showed we'll up here a little later. I just showed up here a little while ago. I was wanting to see what I could do to test out the cards that uh Gregor gave me, but I haven't really integrated them into the deck yet. And mm. this guy's over here trying to take all the challenges he can from Obelisk students. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. Yeah. Well, let me go talk to him. No one likes a bully. Uh, I mean, go right ahead. I don't really see much going he on, but followed us earlier. Mm -hmm. Followed you? All of us. You know how Benny got the cards, right? Oh, yeah. Mm, he followed us. Okay. And got cards, too. Mm. And now he's out here doing this. Which means more attention is going to be brought on. So we have to nip this in the bud. Oh, uh, all right. He's Why? like, you just see Samurai, like, out of every time. He's like, he followed us. And Samurai's just like... So, <laughs> uh, again, unless I pulls up, doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you don't, oh no, <laughs> I'm blank. Oh no, I don't think uh, it's a big deal. That's fine. I uh, just, we, I mean, if we're getting them, I don't see why other people shouldn't. Because then other people can talk about it, and then becomes a whole big issue. Ah, oh, right. I mean, I guess it would be an issue if everybody knew, but mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. all right, uh, get him. <laughs> he again, once a, again, once a day. Exactly. And besides, if Obelisk get them, then no one else has a chance to move up. <sighs> I feel like it's more than just the cards you have, but I agree. It's I probably mean, it a is. problem. Guard ahead. Yeah. You see, as you approach, because he was he was off the dueling rings again. Mm -hmm. Objects in places are larger than yes. they appear. Yeah. Um, one of these squares is a full is a full like dueling area. If that gives any any context to how far apart things are supposed to be, um, but as you guys get over there and you guys see them, you see that he begins. He's sort of like looking over. Uh, you do note that one of the uh, obelisks seems to take off. Uh, looking as if they're going uh, back over toward the obelisk dorm 
uh as they are you see that he watches with like a smirk and just seems to shuffle his deck before looking back at you guys oh hey what's going on with you guys i mean you following us is one thing what what are you talking about we know what's happened listen pal you don't need to lie to us hmm. <laughs> i just want to make sure that you're not you know <laughs> what what's up what no, what what just, what i just love <laughs> I just love, I, I I need to know. I need I need to know something. I'm gonna go over to your guys' stats real quick. <laughs> What's up? Uh, let's see What's here. Up? Uh, yeah, both of you have no willpower. I, I get I... that. Both of you have pretty low negotiation. Oh no, you have pretty high negotiation. Yeah. Um, I just think it's hilarious. You guys are like, we can't let anyone know. And then you rush over to this guy. We know what you did. We, you uh, followed yeah, us. I, I, didn't, I didn't say it out loud. I'm saying there are it people still around him. I, I thought we were doing it close. I was just, you, remember, I'll if you want to whisper, if you want to whisper, yes. then then that's fine. But you have to tell me you're yes. whispering. Okay, <laughs> you have to tell I'm me sorry, you're no. trying to be low. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the first thing I hear is you guys calling out to him as you're walking over to him. Yeah. So I assume that you're in the same cadence okay. as you're going. I, I do enjoy Talison going, hey, you know what we're talking about. The well is our turf, buddy. <laughs> we will assume that the others are are far enough away that if you yeah. talk low, they can't hear you. Again, this yes. is a full duel arena, but they yeah. can. You're, you're supposed to be able to hear each other from across the arena. Like, yeah. you, you, it's, I thought that, yeah, I thought I'll, he wasn't on the arena. That's why. Yeah, he's in the center right now. He's like I'll in the center of the Kate, area. Kate go for it. It'll be fine. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I just wanted to make sure you guys were mm. talking at a low cadence. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. We're whispering to him. You go over. He's like, yeah, and listen. If you want cards, that's fine. However, first of all, following this, that's really disrespectful. Second of all. You shouldn't be having fun in that way. Why is it disrespectful? First of all, Sorry that I uncovered your uh, little treasure trove. But it looks like it's you... on Slifer turf, so I don't see why you get to have it. And you never found it. You don't know how much work we had to go through to get into this. <laughs> and you just reaped the rewards just like that. Yeah, I did. And well, you're gonna stay quiet about it, and I'm gonna make sure that you understand that. <sighs> if you want to speed this along, I have a dorm to take down. Trust he motions me, over toward he motions over toward the other obelisk that ran off. They're making their <sighs> way back to your old dorm, obelisk, and they're gonna tell more people to come over here and duel me and lose. Well. There's one way to solve that issue. I'll just do you and make sure you lose. Why? Because this is how we do things. You don't get this. The better we are, the better everyone looks. The stronger Slifer is, the less they will look down on us and then we can get back into our dorm. They moved us out because we're worthless to them. You really don't get anything in this place, do you? Get anything? You just showed up here. You don't know what they got rid of for that for everything else. I do think it's really funny that people talking to him are a previous raw and a previous novelist. Keep it up, guys. Good job. Yeah, oh yeah, he's pissed. If over. one of, if one of you two would have shown up here, he might have been a little bit more am amicable. He's pissed right I now. Need, I don't need him to. Believe be me. Sorry, buddy. Have fun. <laughs> Believe me, I agree. Our dorms are fucking shit. They weren't shit anything. before. Mm -hmm. They're only hey. shit now because they don't give a fuck about us. And the stronger we all get, the more we can get back at them for that. Throw us in a forest? That's fine. We'll just uncover some treasure. You can tell he's evil because I had him some treasure. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, he's evil as fuck. And we'll take it back from them. 
So your big plan here is to duel every single obelisk immediately after? I'm gonna go and take out all the obelisks, then I'll go to the Chancellor and tell them that, I mean, if they can't even defeat Slifers, why do they get the best dorm? If I'm stronger than all of them, shouldn't that. I be the one being pampered like all of them in their high-rise hotel? Best case scenario on that, you're just moved up to Obelisk. I don't want to go yeah. to Obelisk. I mean, geez, if one person out of the entire dorm is good, they're just going to want to put you up. Exactly. You haven't changed the system. All you're of you are good. You're all taking taking it too. We can tell the rest of them. All the Slifers can benefit from this. We don't tell everyone about this because it gets out of hand. At the very least, it shouldn't just be an instant thing. It should be a more gradual increase into our strengths rather than, I... oh, start of the year, we're suddenly better than everyone. That's going to look fucking suspicious as hell. I'm, I'm kind of glad Benny's not here because Benny would kind of be on this guy's side. <laughs> like, yeah, we should give we should give everyone the power. But Benny, you'd be away from the geese. You'd have to walk an You're hour right. every morning to get to the geese. You're right. <laughs> we have to make sacrifices for our loves. I may be a communist, but I'm also a furry. Hey. I forget, what did the principal tell us that this used to be the student council dorm? Yep. This used to be oh, yeah. where the student where the student council went before the council was abolished and they uh, and the student officers took their place. Hmm. It is pretty weird that they abolished the student council and threw the ciphers in their building. That's sector uh, security for you. They said that they a, needed room to train. And that's a sector security issue. However, you go spreading out these cards, well, there's, it gets bigger than just Slifer or this school. There's a whole other issue that comes with it. Listen, I'm freshman, sure I'm not going to let you talk down to me. Like, you know everything. You just got that place as well. I talked to that lady down there. Do you know what we did to get to that place? What? Do you know the people that struggled? Do you know who died? Died? Are you kidding me? Practically speaking. But they're fine Should now. The Please, tell them. Be quiet. Uh. All right. Please. It sounds like you're trying to start shit over nothing, freshman. I'm not going to get free to you, am I? Just because you're a third year, but guess what? You're still in raw. You're still in cypher. <laughs> How about this then? Let's just do things the easy way. Let's do things in the language of the academy. And whoever wins... Can do what they want. Fine. Enjoy. He will step back and let them do what they do. Although he still has this like smug expression on his face, like even though he is the third year, he's like, I'm still better than you, basically. <laughs> but go ahead, you two. Do what you two have to do. It's the vibes he's given off. Just so you know, just because you think we're on the same field, but you have your obelisk training or whatever, every single obelisk I fought today has fallen before me. And you're going to be the same. And once we're done, let's just give it to everyone. Why not? Because what are they going to do? It's not about what they're going to do with the issues with everything else. I'm sorry, I'm not putting that much responsibility on other people. You are thinking way too much about everybody else and not about us. Because someone fucking has to. <laughs> he pulls out his dual disc. <laughs> pulls out dual disc. Alrighty. Good luck. The slamming ideologies of youth going against each other. 
We're having a communism versus capitalism fight on every <laughs> <Yu -Gi -Oh! laughs> someone. Hey, you... Caitlin's just Look, concerned about what's it. wrong with communism, really? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, you think that the that should get paid the, the same? The thing with Russia was a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> Dual Moss is about heated drama between And Venezuela, players. and Cuba, and also China. <laughs> Dual Moss is about heated drama between players. Let's go ahead and do some betting. Slash I don't know, guys. I like him. Can we get adopted by him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's spitting though. He's spitting though. <laughs> yeah, like, I yeah, get his this, this is it. Just you know, Caitlin. Because this like, school is society. society. <laughs> oh, if he's I'm absolutely jumping, and I want to see how it ends. <laughs> I think like a, we judge the gun. I don't think they're the freshman killer. I think the freshman killer is someone else. <laughs> Listen, I think that we should re rename the cane look alike to JD. I don't know, it kind of fits. Well, again, oh, I told you, he's not literally a freshman killer. He's the opposite of that, but we all thought it was really funny to call him the opposite. <laughs> we have Kate Win, actually... YN. You have 30 seconds. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to add more time. <laughs> Get in there. Make your predictions. Will Kate win? You have half the time left remaining. 420 has gone. To ah, someone fucked uh, up the 420. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, shit, the 420. There was 420 I against. I believe in you. I like how no matter who wins, this looks terrible for everyone involved. Listen, I believe in you, Window. All right. I believe in you so much. But on the percent chance you lose, I will get points. Uh, <laughs> you really are talented. Anyway. I Cal, always is... play both sides, so I, I always Emerald's play really both sides. Emerald's really coming into his own with this character. I love it. <laughs> I, 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 so love, I love Emerald on Talisman. on this shit's amazing. I am so happy he is play. I am able to play him the way I've been wanting to play a character like him, and I am glad everyone's enjoying him. He's at the very minimum. Not an evil man. He is just no, no, no. awful. I don't think Talison is evil. I think we should just lock him up for his own good. All right. Yep. Let's shuffle and let's find out who goes first. Uh, oh, Talison, I kiss uh -oh. you in your stupid giraffe head. 13. You can decide. Uh, I'll draw. I'll go first. Draw. Uh-oh. I mean, Fake person just gave $120 says to Kate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit. Damn. You got ammo. It'll be funny if I can pop this off. Bloop, bloop. Yeah. Oh, let's get two. Where's the other one? Bloop. There we go. Thank you, fake person. Much appreciated. Let's get some dual music in. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let's get what what what's your what's your what's your dual theme? What's your dual theme, my boy? Do, 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 do. Uh, what is my dual theme? Let's not, go. Not you. We're we're talking about him. He has he gets his dual theme. What is it? Alright, something evil. Oh, it's Back Torch Man! Hey, kind of makes sense. Yeah. He gets Torch Man, let's go. He's actually JD. <laughs> God, if he, if he has heroes, I'll be so happy. Alright. <laughs> the only place Slifers and Ross can get to so long, long together is face down defense. Mode. The only way <laughs> Obelisk and Slifers can, get, can live together is in heaven. <laughs> He's in the graveyard. He's in the graveyard. I set one card face down and I summon Queen's Knight. End my turn. My move. Draw. Ooh, Ooh it's trance. Ooh. I'm going to summon Marauding Captain. Whenever Marauding Captain is summoned, I can get another monster from my hand and special summon it onto the field. I'm going to choose Lamoon the Bright Witch. Ah, I see. Hello, Lamoon. I'm coming for you. What did it say? Nothing. Hot. Mm. I said... No, not in the hot way. I'm gonna kill... Don't give me those eyebrows, Talison. I... Be creeped out that I know you... Stop it! Wiggle, wiggle, <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> no! Mm. Gregor, you have to stop him. After not you too. <laughs> then I'm gonna activate 
Megamorph on Lamoon. Mm. With this card, whenever I have life points that are lower than yours, the attack of my monster is doubled. However, if they're higher, then it's halved. Right now, it seems to be pretty, uh, pretty much balanced, though. Marauding Captain, attack Queen's Knight. Go for it. He will take 600 points. Get back up to 8,000, ah, asshole. I see. I like his style. Now, Lamoon for 2,400, attack Queen's Knight. Activate Queen Knight with Chain. I'll be using both of its effects. <sighs> First of all, changing your monster to defense mode. And second of all, giving Queen's Knight a boost. Fine. Uh, I'll end my turn. Draw. Mm. Activate the effect of White Knight Snow Pixie. When it's placed in the spell Trap Card Zone, it can be considered as it can be considered a continuous spell and also a normal summon. And while it's phased up, your pon my opponent can activate spell cards from their hands. Ah. Interesting. Well, that gives. Interesting, you made it! No, I meant interesting in this duel particular. <laughs> that actually is really bad for this guy's deck. <laughs> uh oh, buddy. Well, that is really, really bad for this guy's forever. deck. Oh, I see an equip spell, man. It's gonna suck for you. See you in hell, buddy. Next, I'm going to attack your Lamoon the Bright Witch. That is gonna be enough, yeah. With the powered up from Kunai. Now, in my turn, as I've used my normal summon, your move. Draw. Hmm. I'm gonna set a monster in defense mode. And then I'm gonna set two cards face down. That'll end my turn. Draw. Hmm. It's unfortunate, but I'm gonna have to get rid of my Kunai Swift Chain. Ooh. And I'm gonna have to sacrifice my Queen's Knight in order to summon Mobius the Frost Monarch. Ooh! Ooh. Now let's get rid of those two Ooh. face downs. This is terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Owning him. Oh no! Oh, as, as you hear murmurs in the background. Oh no! I think no. we were too preemptive with the title freshman killer. You literally cripple him just with one guard. Two no, cards, you fucking destroyed him. You blew him up. Nah. <clears throat> Attack Radiant Dragon. <laughs> That's funny. And my turn. Draw! I'll set a monster in defense mode and in my turn. Draw. I summon White Knight Swordsman in attack mode, and because there's a White Knight must uh. on the field, it gains 300 extra, plus mm. in addition to itself, making it a toy 100. Let's attack your face down with my White Knight Swordsman. Also, uh, when it looks for a White Knight monster, this is considered a continuous spell card. Gotcha. Okay, so gotcha. It, it, it's only him. So, okay, gotcha. Perfect. All good. Still 17, though. That's enough. <laughs> Marvius the Frost Monarch attack. Oh, God. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's down to 5,000. And my turn. Draw! I summon Exiled Force! I then destroy Exiled Force to get rid of your Mobius the Frost Monarch. Very well. In my turn. My turn. Draw. I summon Rizay the Ice Mistress. Next, I synchro summon. Ooh. Oh, okay. Reese's puff. Reese's puff. Reese's puff. Reese's puff. Come eat to him the up, field. Eat him up. Eat him up. Eat him up. Skull. Six stars. I did it right this time. Hey. Yeah. It's hey. them. It's the boy. The boy. Now let's attack you directly. 
2600. And my turn. I draw. He looks to the field. He looks to his trance, which has its effect he can use, but literally because of this, you just got over what he can do. <laughs> oh my God. You're over it by 200 points. He looks to his cards. Whatever. I am my turn. Draw. And the world summons go attack. And that is game. What the fuck just happened, dude? So anyway, we have seen now that uh, the higher the students from the higher classes are not fucking kidding around at how good they are. <laughs> I, never I looked out with my hand so hard. Oh, wow. <laughs> to be fair, I'm... also drawing the card that destroys your opponent's entire deck is a good way to win. <laughs> oh, wow. So no, it's not even just killer. that. It's not even I'm just that. Your asshole. As soon as that happened, look at these two fucking his yeah, entire dude. deck is about having strong spells. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. dude, like there's a reason why this is a trap card in the actual game and affects both players. I don't know why it's just here as a monster. Oh, it's great. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it is a it is a great monster. So, don't I worry, I'm pretty sure that Kate's gonna be the gonna be the piper of this game. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! First things first. I don't know, I thought I was going to be the piper of this game. <laughs> Listen, are you guys sure? Last time I was myself, I got stalked and then I found a clone of myself. <laughs> what are you going for? Yeah, I'm a running captain might actually work with my deck. Running captain's great. Yeah. Do you have any, I mean, captain. you have mostly warriors, right? Yeah. Okay. He has extra more running captains, so I'm just going to copy that. Yeah, yeah I would basically fine. say these are basically these two. So you have one or the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go with Moral and Captain. His entire deck is made of warriors and spellcasters mostly, and most of his cards are spell cards. <laughs> you know, stuff like this. <laughs> God, I'm just, I'm just looking at, like, brain control would have been so good for him. Oh, it, it would have, because good. he could have yeah. summoned his monster that was in his hand. Mm -hmm. Even then, he could have summoned it at the end, but you still beat it by 200 points, so there was no point. <laughs> He didn't, you know he didn't want to risk I getting rid of it. A duel. I thought you wanted a duel to just completely have sex with a guy and then toss him out in the street like a crumpled paper bag. As this goes down, this happens extremely quickly. As you defeat them, you see the obelisk on the other side uh, basically begin cheering, Kate. They remember you. They know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> they rush over to you and they start patting you on the back like, yeah! Uh, let go of me. Shrug them off. Whatever. Should... You see you him start walking off. She'll just walk to him. Do you know the reason why I won? What? No, think about it. Throughout the deal, do you know why I won that? Because of your cards? Exactly. Your cards weren't bad, you just didn't know how to use them properly. Your oh original God. ones, I mean. Ish. Do you realize how stupid that sounds coming from you? Where do you think I got these cards? The majority of these. Same place I did, I guess. Incorrect. My original deck was destroyed, which is much more stronger. My point is, if you couldn't even beat me, do you think the rest of the obelisk would have been that easy to beat? Then what's the point? Why are you telling me that? Because you're strong, however, you skipped almost everything. 
you just had you just found new cards threw them in the deck and decided to test it out and then decided that you were the best because you took out like three or four of us thousand could do that in his sleep that doesn't look She's good right. don't say those things <laughs> what i'm saying is you're plenty strong you just you didn't need to go about this alone heck if you told us you were following us we probably would have invited you You didn't give off the most friendly vibe the first time I saw you. Have you seen the people I'm around constantly? I feel like that has, have, I feel like I have to have some context for that. And I don't really, all I know is the guy who keeps feeding ducks. Exactly. You just hear from the side, they're geese. <laughs> <laughs> and they <laughs> suck. <laughs> exactly. Like. He's a strong duelist. He's still in Slifer. And guess what? You know the guy who... The teacher in Slifer... Uh, teacher in Obelisk? Guess what? He's a Slifer too. Well, was. Whatever. Is the yeah. lecture over? Fine. Just don't tell anyone about this. I wasn't planning on telling anyone but Slifers. But I guess I won't yourself. say anything else anyway. Good. But you should tell you them. Do. If you're Why planning on staying them? here, if you're planning on wanting to be one of us, what am I saying? You're going to raw the first chance you get. Incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Listen, do you know why I'm at this academy? Become a pro? Almost. It's just to get acknowledged by one person. And heck, no matter what class I'm in, she wouldn't even care. <laughs> Look, if the other Slifers want cards, we'll get them to them, but they won't need to come to the well we'll keep that limited we're kind of middle ground with this like you said we need some kind of advantage compared to everyone else i just don't want you blabbing it everywhere i'll keep my mouth shut for now <laughs> but as soon as stuff starts starting up like it always does in the middle of the year i'll tell you right now I don't know your name. <laughs> it's Caitlin. Gray. I don't know yours either. <laughs> Gray. Gray. Okay, I'll tell Gray. you right now, Caitlin. Within a couple months of you hearing Sly for Slime, Sly for Slacker, Red Wonder, and whatever else they want to call us this year, like they do every single year. You are gonna break just like me. Uh, I doubt it. My grandmother calls me bliss. We'll see. I'm sure, uh, but I'm pretty sure your grandmother hasn't called you disappointing in 36 different languages. I'm not here to shake each other's dicks, Caitlin. No, neither am I. I don't have one and I don't like them. I'll see you later. Seriously, though, at least consider telling the others yeah. we're doing something yeah. for them while you're here. We'll, we'll do something. It just it comes with a bunch of consequences, unfortunately, which you're wrapped into now. He just starts walking <laughs> off. He walks past you, Talison, just looks over at you. Same kind of look he's giving Caitlin. Again, you mm -hmm. two are the worst people to talk to him. <laughs> oh, I know I'm the worst. But hey, me. man, you ever feel like women are yeah. something important? As he walks by, he just puts a hand up behind him in a wave and walks off. I think we are missing something important, but I thought about it. We should tell the other Slifers about that Oh, place. shit, right. You're supposed to only do semis. We have to remove one of these. 
you're right. That's the only thing stopping me from telling the other slifers. No, it's just like we should probably tell the other slifers. Oh, you you have two semis. You have to do this. Oh, what was I saying? What? What? <laughs> I'm guessing you agree with him, tells him. Eh. <laughs> yeah, that's all you got. That's all I got, what yeah. You, Sammy? Oh, uh, agreeing that we should, what, spread all the cards out to all the slifers? No thanks. <laughs> First Why? off, I'm not really planning on staying here, but even if I did, I'd still want to be the best. It's not like I want to give away anybody's cards. Grego was nice to give me these, but I don't think I'm that nice. At least you're honest. He just shrugs. <laughs> mm. You'll probably go buy some car packs for them. Give them the old Gregor treatment. <laughs> you guys can do that, I guess. I, I mean, I guess we do have that weird glitch happening to our to our dull discs. Exactly. Maybe we, sh maybe we should spread out a little bit. Call it charity, you know. At least then, if the just get on our asses over it we can be like oh but we shared <laughs> i'll i'll at least buy as many as gregor gave me mm. Mm -hmm. i think we can do that and just post it through anonymously we don't need the credit you guys want the credit don't you kind of a little it. bit <laughs> Ross be greedy, fine. man. <laughs> oh my. Fine, fine. Mm. What do you think the, gold, the color gold stands for? We'll tell everyone else and then we'll set up first thing in the morning early and then we'll get people their cards and then talk about this whole... <laughs> early in the morning, that's funny, Caitlin. We have I to mean, wake up early just to arrive at class on time now. I mean, tomorrow is Sunday anyway. I thought today was Sunday. I thought today was Saturday. Today was Saturday. Ah, it's been right. a really long Saturday. Is that a it's been a really long Saturday. It feels like. It's been two sessions. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right? that's, a, that's a long Saturday. That's more than another Saturday. <laughs> There's also been like a big. There was, had, like, there big was a gap. There was a gap in uh in in between. Yeah, those two sessions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell the others about the plan, and then hopefully, <clears throat> something good happens. I guess. Well, I mean, there's not anybody left around here for me to duel, so I guess I'll go back and mess with my deck. Mm. <laughs> Only if Bell was here. Whoever that is, if only, Kate, if only. I feel danger. I feel danger all around. <laughs> I feel like I've tried. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she just it's not anything actually that serious she just is afraid of commitment and shit and she's just like i can't i can't commit i can't it's too scary they're not even afraid the of, they're not even afraid of commitment they're just like no i don't i don't i didn't like that i don't like girls i like dick you will i love <laughs> i like... love dick <laughs> You don't even like girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you Ooh. walk yourselves back as it is getting rather late. And you guys stayed up rather late la the night before this. <laughs> you guys return. You guys pass over the uh, room at the bottom floor that is most likely the one you saw. Um, uh, the uh, You saw Gray making his way out of before. You guys get up into the second floor uh, areas. You guys give yourselves a little, little, little wave goodbye as Samurai goes into a room all of his own. And Talison, you go to a door where you see Gregor and Benny. All of your best friends are here. <laughs> ah, I see. Y'all are still here. I wondered if y'all would, would ever come. Kate, are you going to your room? Yes. Okay. Hmm. How was your duel? My duel? Oh, I stopped. Well, I mean, no one was there, so I know, well, you know. <laughs> That's what I mean, they didn't have a second one. Caitlin also stopped her ghoul. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. How'd a girl? Uh, it went about as well as it could go for us and him, I guess. Pretty sure we probably shouldn't have been the two talking to him, but, you know. Well, what for? Well, you see, 
I was in Raw. She was an obelisk, and he's the Cypher third year. Mm-hmm. We don't know how he has handled being in, in Cypher this whole time, so, you know. Us people who were up a higher than him have not dealt with what he has had to deal with, I guess, is the best way that I can probably describe everything that I saw tonight. Yeah. I hate every single word you said. <laughs> cool. Oh, right. Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll just get up on my bunk and uh yeah <laughs> yeah so, sorry gregor that's uh his bunk no all right i'm all along whoop, whoop. gregor if at any point you want to duel to change rooms or something <laughs> i mean as long as you guys are like uh, both willing like you know if you ask sammy and you get his permission i have no problem with that we're all uh, pals yeah. here right they won't allow us to duel for dorms what do you mean they won't let us duel for dorms they specifically said fuck you talison <laughs> <laughs> it was in the paper when they were oh, like if you look at the rule set it's right there <laughs> i don't you, actually... you, you you like open the rule book and it says at the bottom it's a little line it says talison blythe you have a small penis the size of a one so it's even smaller <laughs> but no i say none of that because i don't know if we can do this or not I doubt we'd be able to do that so simply. <coughs> I mean, they. Yeah, so... I mean, I assume that they probably ruled to have the dorm switched for the fucking si sector security and raw and uh, ciphers. Well, maybe. Or because it was forced on them. Well, according I to assume... uh, according to Gray, he's like they basically just showed up and told him to leave their dorm and come in here. <laughs> Mm. But I assume for you of the non slifer variety that this is some sort of punishment from the way you were describing how you don't understand what it's like to be a slifer yes. for so long. Yes, I've only been here a month as a raw student, a freshman year. I don't know shit about the socio the, the, the social economic life of the social economics of, of the school your social political socio political standings there we go thank you thank you oh, my, my god you're still acting high and mighty uh, i of course i am is my sarcasm not coming across bits and pieces it just Gregor, like looking between them, you realize exactly how cruel whoever whoever did this was putting these two in their room together. You know, I thought I had it bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but then I was like, Sammy might not get my, my guy. Jokes, won't, my guy won't guy. even laugh at my jokes. I don't. You, you know, <laughs> like what? Sammy Fine. might not laugh at my jokes, but you know, he's a nice guy. Otherwise, I don't know Fine. what you guys you are doing. What? Benny gets up, slams open the door. I'll go ask someone if we can duel to change our rooms, because I might like that. It's kind of late. You're going to have to walk really far to actually ask anyone of I know, Slam. All right, be safe. So what you have to do today, Where are you Gregor? going? Where are you going, Benny? <laughs> going to a teacher to see if I have permission to duel him there out are, of the room. There are two areas here that you do know. Uh, go to the uh, the teachers. You guys have never seen the slifer dorm leaders but uh there are apparent there should be two we uh, know they exist i marked it out earlier uh but basically the kid dorms are here there's three layers of them yada yada blah blah <coughs> uh going off in that direction uh the ladder will be like here to take you up to those different areas uh, okay yeah whatever but also there, there is the two like little little like other things like off on the sides there uh, at the bottom of which there is a little food area for you guys to eat breakfast, but on the top floors, there are uh, the two teachers. Uh, one of them is on the second floor and one of them is on the first floor. Hmm. Do you want to go to the second floor teacher or the first floor teacher? I suppose the first floor first, since that's closer. I want to get You're on the done. third floor. 
up. <laughs> then the third floor. No, second floor. Second. Um, second floor. <laughs> there you go. Okay. You make your way to the second floor. Uh, you go down. Uh, you notice that there are less actual dormitories here, uh, which is probably why there is a teacher's room here, because obviously uh, a lot of second years and third years go to either Ra or or, or uh, Obelisk at this point. Uh, as you get down to the second floor area, you knock on said door. Roll me for your... I guess promptitude. <laughs> <coughs> All right. You're pretty prompt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll me for your uh, politics. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I thought that was a 20 for a second. It's a 10. <laughs> no, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's at a total of eight. They don't answer. Do you want to try again? <laughs> No, because that'd be too awkward. I'm going to the first floor. You go to the first floor, okay. <laughs> oh, I love Benny. You go to the first floor. As you go to knock on the door there, roll me just a straight D20. Oh, this is what happens when you tell me to roll straight. Benny, you find as you go to the first floor uh, that the door is open. The door appears to be open, and not only does the door appear to be open, uh, you also hear the sounds of a shower from inside. <laughs> no, I'm back to the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to your room where, Talison, you just asked Gregor what? No, no, not the third floor. Oh, you're going uh, to the second floor. floor. <laughs> you're going to the second floor again. Yes. All right, knock on the door again. Roll me, roll me for your for your politics. <laughs> All right, try two. <laughs> try two. There's no answer, Benny. <laughs> Go to the first floor. Maybe the shower's done. I w continue <laughs> this. <plan. laughs> Benny, the door is open, but you just hear a shower. <laughs> roll me a straight, just roll me a straight D20 again. Please, she showered Please. Past this Please is so funny. Continue. Nope. To <laughs> you no. still hear the shower. <laughs> Benny's in his own rom com. What are you doing? I think it's so fucking at last. What you doing, Benny? Oh, you have a fleeting, Benny. You have a fleeting. <laughs> Roll the fleeting. Thank you. Roll the fleeting, Benny. <laughs> Um, we're about to put this dice into dice jail at this. Oh, that, I don't know if that rolled. Yeah, it did that, a weird thing. I accidentally pushed D. That was an accidental cheat. Stop cheating. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, maybe cheat a little. I don't know. <laughs> Roll one more time. You have another fleeting. Though. You have another fleeting. <laughs> go for it. Let's go, Benny. <laughs> I mean, it's I, higher. I think you should just give up. <laughs> Oh, I right, know. Benny, roll me again. Roll me again. <laughs> I need this to be under a 10 again. <laughs> one more time. I gave you one before. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> Come on, Benny. I believe in you. I want this to work. I want this. <laughs> Is it Benny slams. Benny slams open. Below a 10 it's not happening, dude. You have to move I on. Have you have to move on. She's dead. Chat, chat, if you can uh, calculate the amount of times that he, that she's rolled <laughs> and gotten lower than 10, <laughs> more 10. Benny I will give you. Open I'm going to give you door. one more roll. You're, you're slamming over the door. No, no, no. Uh, the, okay, one more, and then I'll do what I was thinking. All right, all right, all right. I'm giving you this last one all right, out of sheer the fact that Makoto gave it to you. <laughs> That's a 30. What were you planning on doing, Benny? I was planning to go back home, slam the door open, and go, they're busy. 
right as you get there you wait there for a bit you, you debate going around you're, you're getting more and more more and more upset <laughs> flustered you're like ah and then as soon as you turn back around <laughs> you hear the shower turn off oh, oh good then i will wait a solid five minutes before knocking you wait five minutes before knocking because they need to get dressed you see yeah 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 and they'll definitely do that within five minutes Ten minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes. Okay, okay. What are they? A mine? <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe, you. <laughs> you wait ten minutes. You knock on the door. You hear. Oh, just a minute. On my way, on my way, on my way. Wait a minute. Do I recognize this voice? Do, do, do. You do not. Okay, it's up them. If it was them, then there'd just be no one at the door. You see what appears to be a woman uh, without the without the jacket. They would not they would not be always wearing their their fucking uh, slifer jacket. Uh, but they would have like the uh, the black uh, kind of like the black shirt on. Uh, they have their hair back in uh, in a towel as they answer the door. They look in. Hmm? Oh, Benjamin. Uh, hello. I have an inquiry oh, come in, come about... in. Okay. Bows. Uh, Take a seat. I'll get you something. What do you want? Uh, I, I have I'm bananas. Fine. I have uh, I have grapes. I have little cut up strawberries, and I just put I just put some syrup on them, so they're like. Little 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 tra- little little strawberry syrup little little things are really good. You could put them on oh. uh, like pies and stuff, but I don't have any pies. Haven't made it yet. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, do you want? Um, I have uh, pineapple. Um, I have uh, pineapple put into bread. It's pretty good. Uh, it's less it's less bread than cake, honestly. But I'm not gonna tell if you don't. Um, we have a Wait. little bit of uh, peanut butter that we can put on yeah. anything. Uh, some chocolate dip. I have some chocolate fondue. Do you mm-hmm. like fondue? Um, I don't know. I bet you fondue. <laughs> that joke may be hilarious if I do. I guess. I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you some. I'll get you some uh, cherries and fondue, bananas and fondue. I'm, wait. Uh, Which one? I'm. I'm actually interested in the pineapple bread, but pineapple bread. I'll get um, you pineapple bread, and I'll get you a little side of of the fondue. You can dip it if you want to. You don't have to. Oh Probably God. isn't that good, but I would be so down to try it. It sounds delicious, but I need to talk to you about. Uh, you give know, okay, you give can... me a second. Give me a second. I'll get it for you. Uh, you're okay. So how's class? Oh, you haven't been in class for a bit, have you? Uh, no, I got stuck in another di- Yeah, 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 uh, another I dimension or whatever. Yeah, it was crazy. You have to tell me right. what happened. Like, I heard what happened, but you have to tell me, like, with your own, like, like words what happened. It, it's, I bet it's super interesting. <laughs> All right. Do you I want, just, do you uh, want a drink? Uh, you want some milk? I have 2% uh, yeah, that... and I have skim and almond. I don't have whole. I don't believe in whole. No, uh, almond, please. She's anyway, not believing uh, whole, guys. <laughs> Almond, please. And anyway, so what happened was, uh, so we went go. to get the starter decks for the. D- oh, thank you. So we went to get the starter. <laughs> Benny, decks no. for the <laughs> Benny, you start and to explain. <laughs> I start to explain in my words, but I won't like it too. D- How do I put it? <laughs> <laughs> do you mention the deaths? No. Okay. <laughs> You explain everything in your own words. She is on every word. She's just there. She has um, uh, she has the pineapple bread. Uh, you do see that eventually she does try to dip some in the fondue. She doesn't do it twice. <laughs> oh, and I don't know about you, but I, I I just want to do some studying. But now I feel a responsibility to everything and. Now it feels like the world's on my shoulders, and I know my mother is like, "Oh, you always feel that way," but this time it's for real. It's not just a kill. Yeah, moms can be hard on on things like that, especially whenever you're doing something they don't entirely understand. But like, I mean, leveling up is important too. 
both right. in real life it's... and in the game. Yeah, and I had a commitment. I needed to level up my character. And so what are you going to do? do? Pause it. Together. Right? Oh, I hate that they're like, oh, can you do pause they still your say that? Like, do parents still say that? They said it when I was a kid. Like, oh, you need to pause oh. that. You can't pause that. Oh, I don't know. I just. Ugh. Well, you're yeah, a college student that... now. You don't have to worry about that stuff. You can you can pause whatever you can't pause or whatever. Well, not in this school. I couldn't bring my games, but. <sighs> yeah, it's really bummer. I have a couple. Probably nothing oh, like no, what no. you're used to, though. I have I have a, <laughs> most of mine's are a, most of mine are a lot more analog. We don't really we have limited internet access. <laughs> Big bummer. I know. Um, but I do have some things. Uh, you have did you know they brought back old school RuneScape? No shit. Like yeah, like it's crazy. <laughs> like, okay, how how old? How old? Like, like it's I, I decently old. But it's not like it's not like OG OG, right? But like, uh, they have uh, I, actually before you came in, I was taking a shower. Obviously, I haven't taken it. Don't worry about it. Um, but uh, we were doing a a couple of things. Um, I was talking with some of the guys, and a couple of them were talking about uh either going to bed for the night or staying up and looking around for uh, their, uh, basically trying to get their resources in, things of that nature. Um, yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm sure that, I'm sure that it's, I don't know if, I don't know exactly how far they've gone into it. They do have Bandos pages, but was that OG? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, the Bandos pages. Oh no, that was like the third patch. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a chance it could it's be patched decently, forward, It's decently like rough. One. I'm on the last one. I can't... It's it's. There's like a 1 in 20 chance, but even to get the drop in the first place, you have to go through all hell. Oh, yeah. And uh, my mother was like, oh, why don't you like just take a break? And it's like, I'm in the middle of this. You've been in the middle of it for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you understand my point. <laughs> Ugh. But I get you, Benny. I understand. Yeah. And again, while I probably don't understand the whole crazy other world kind of thing, I do get that it feels like you have a lot going on right now. And honestly, maybe you do. Maybe it is time to take a step back. Maybe learn uh, to do something for yourself. Uh, do you know how to make banana bread? It's probably better than the pineapple bread. I just really wanted to make the pineapple bread. I haven't made banana bread since, oh, uh, and there was, there was this one time that my mother and I, like, I was feeling pretty down. It was like a patch day and the patch day was taking longer than expected. Mm -hmm. And instead of just yelling at me, she's like, okay, let's make banana bread. And it was the uh, best banana bread I ever had. It was the only banana bread I ever had. Oh, that's uh, awesome. I kind of miss her, but at the same time, I'm have glad you given to her a call? Did you call her? Have you called her since you came back from the other world? <laughs> Not yet, but she, she, she knows. She knows. Yeah. Just I have oh. I have uh, access to instant messengers if you want to do that. But I also have a phone. Uh, if you ever want to try to contact them, you just come right in here, and we'll get we'll get you right set oh. up. Oh, that's nice. Thank Anytime. you. Anytime, doors always open. I never lock yeah, my doors. I... Why didn't you? You were showering. Oh, was oh! I didn't realize it was open. <coughs> I, I, you, I have them closed. They're just not. I don't lock them. Maybe someone came in before you did. They're probably coming for the more for more more of the fondue. I hope no one came in before I did. <laughs> that... Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, any ghosts? <laughs> I doubt they're ghosts. Um, <laughs> any demons? Ooh. There's only one thing left. Aliens! If you're an alien, you have to tell us that's the rule. I think we're good. Oh, I knew they had that rule. I was told they don't have the rule, but... I, oh, I'm I, bluffing. I, I, <laughs> ah. You know... It worked. I, it worked once. I was in I was in high okay. school and I told them, hey, you have to tell me if you're talking behind my back. It's a rule. And they're like, well, we are. And I'm like, ha, 
Got you. Oh, they talked behind <laughs> your back, though. That sucks. That's ah, fine. I got them. If they, if I know oh. they're doing it and, I, and it doesn't look like I care, then what are they? What kind of power do they have, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny story. I actually came here to talk to you about something. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot what I was going to talk to you about. Oh my god, that happens all the time. Oh, like, oh. Oh, maybe I was going to talk to you about some of the classes I missed. Maybe that sounds oh, well, like something uh, I do. We could probably find if there find out if there's any homework you missed, but I doubt that anybody did any homework stuff. We kind of don't like doing that here because obviously we want you guys to duel as much as possible. Some people do yeah. give homework, which I think is, <sighs> but uh, it's probably fine. You're probably good. Yeah, uh, I just want to make sure because I missed so much class and it's, you know, hmm. Even if it's just some big civic stuff, just gotta make sure that I'm not lost. She like looks to you as she does. She thinks for a moment. Uh, from what I remembered, you usually pay it pretty much pretty well attention in class. You don't really talk to anybody, so I think you'll be fine. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, don't worry. While you were gone, I made sure to I made sure to go out, go around and throw some throw some breadcrumbs and stuff to the geese. Oh, that was you. Oh, thank you so much. It's no problem. I tried. I made sure that I made the bread first because I didn't want it to be like oh, uh, wait, white wait, bread. Wait, bread? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I didn't um, want it to be bread. Bread. I made it. It's more of like a. It was more of like a corn, like a corn kind of substitute, kind of like a cornbread. Oh, okay, okay, cause yeah, cause you can't the give them, you can't give them white bread. You can't do that. That's that's people because... go around like, oh, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw bread to the ducks. They could die, or at least like have yeah. really upset tummies. It, it, one thing that you should always remember is bread <laughs> makes them fat. Look, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> she says, taking another piece of pineapple bread. <laughs> We don't have to oh, talk no, about that. Oh, not no, no, us. We, we, we are able to just lose this weight later. Mm -hmm. Some people get mad that I say that, though. I don't know why. Well, we just got to get a little cardio in. Like, you know, walking from yeah. one side of the room to the other and back and... Whew. Yeah, it just goes right off. I don't know why it's so hard for people and why people get mad when I say that. You are going to not have a lot of friends if you say that to them to their face. But if you say it in more of a way of like, oh, well, you can you can work things off and I can help, then maybe they'll 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 take you up on it. I see. Oh, hold on a second. I have a notebook You just here. have to know that if you say you're going to help and then they decide to go on a run, you might have to stick with the run at least once and you can come up with some excuses later. Oh, here we go. I'm looking at my notebook now. I think I know what I want to talk to you about. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It looks um. like... Yeah, the pineapple isn't very good in it. It's, it's okay. Ah, oh, damn it, I set myself up. I couldn't think of a punchline, so... Oh, yeah, are we able to duel to, um... Get a different dorm or anything like that? Or... Oh, definitely not. If you guys duel to get different <laughs> different dorms, then everybody would just be basically taking everyone's rooms all the time. You can switch dorms if you want to, though. Oh, okay. Like if you like if you have like <clears throat> somebody who's wanting to be with somebody else, you can just be like, "Hey, can we switch over?" And as long as both of you are fine with it, go ahead. Mm. Hey, can you do me a favor? What's that? So, there's someone I've met who seems to think they're above it all, and. I kind of want to keep an eye on them and see if I can help them see better. Can mm -hmm. you write down that there's just that we can't duel to get new rooms? Oh, yeah, def. Uh, let's see here. Uh, probably shouldn't write it in the fondue. I'll get a pen. Yeah, this notebook 
Or do you want to take a cake with well. you and I can write it with the piping with the piping icing? Hmm. <laughs> no, wait, that'd probably get what? Oh, okay. Pen and paper it is. They just go over Where'd to the pen? just go over to the desk. It's like, oh, this one is really nice. I got it for, I got it from college whenever I was in it. It's really good. Oh nice. It has cartridges you can put in it, but it's like at the same time, why not just dip it in the in the ink itself? You just have to do it every now and then, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, don't you do that. You can't duel to change rooms because anarchy. So don't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, should I be casual with it or should I be like serious with it? <coughs> Uh, no, that, that that was plenty. Thank you. Oh, okay then. Here you go. I'm going to... At first I was thinking... Nah, I'll just change rooms, but... No, I'm going to be a better example. I'm going to help them become the person that I think they have deep down. Hey, Benny. Before you go off and do that, though, you do have to think of something, right? Hmm? Make sure that you're not the one telling them to pause, okay? You're right. <laughs> mm. It's good to give a good nudge, but make sure that you're not trying to overstep it. Oh, you're right. I like my mom, but I don't want to become my mom. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> uh, actually, do you have the DMs open? Um, yeah, hold on. Which, which messenger does she use? Uh, she uses Applejack. Oh, good. Uh, I'll let you jack in then. I gotta go. I gotta go clean up my hair. <laughs> and he's gonna talk to his mom while he transitions. <laughs> you think he passed out or something? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Gregor, what'd you have to doing today? <laughs> well, I really just. I was like, just talk with Benny after I came back, and that's really just been my day. <laughs> what you're talking about what we did before that? Uh, we went raw. Oh, you went back to the raw dorms. Oh, okay. I got back. I don't live there, but you know. Hmm. Met this girl, total cutie pie. 3.0. Ah, I see, I um, see. We walked into the raw dorm. For some reason, they haven't got a martial arts thing. I don't know if you knew about that, but... We walked into them, there are like several of these guys doing push-ups and shit. Martial arts? <laughs> Practicing their draw, I don't know. They were doing this. It's kind of trying to mimic them, like, practicing their draw or whatever. It's... What kind of idiotic shit is that? Oh, I forgot to test my draw <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I get it when Betty does it. I don't know when a whole group does it. Somebody is filling their heads with weird shit, and that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, about that. Uh, we walk in there, right? It's me mm -hmm. and this girl I just met. And yeah, 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 yeah. we walk in there and we find Sammy and this other guy who's fucking punched Sammy in the gut. You what? Yeah, right? And we're like, hey, what's going on here? He's like, oh, nothing's happening. We're just having a talk. And it's like, he's literally not having a talk because he just punched him. But Sammy doesn't seem to be calling attention to it either. So I play along. I go, all right, yeah, I guess we're just not doing anything here. And, uh, was anybody else there? Did it didn't like the lobby directly? Shouldn't there be cameras and shit? Oh yeah, I wanna like the student guys was there, like the guys with the big capes and the hat. Guys with the big capes and the hats? Uh doesn't ring a bell. That's like that's like uh the student another student council, we don't call that anymore. What's the uh student, student officers. officers. Student officers. Yeah, like the student officers. Oh, cool. So he just saw that happen and let that shit happen. Okay, yeah, it wasn't cool. even bothered. It was just like, yeah, you guys want to sign a complaint? And we're just like, no. Hmm. Should have signed a complaint, but I guess if he saw it happen, it probably wouldn't matter much. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm I not, want both I'm of not. you to roll me for your instinct, please. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm the smart one after all. I say with my negative one instinct, which is you really what, funny. Man? Why don't you take this hermit? Oh! Oh, you're just gonna hermit? Me? Yeah. Not yeah, you? That is that. very interesting. 
Okay. Do you, Tally, are, do you want to roll? You only deserve the best. Oh, ta you're oh. using it for Talison. Yeah. I thought you're using it for yourself. Yeah. Okay, okay. I still need you to yes. roll then. I'll roll. Uh, okay, I'll, if you're willing <laughs> to do that for me, okay. I'll crit success it. Hey. hey I mean, hey. it could also be a crit fail. Yeah, you never know. Tally, I'm just saying. You the you deserve the best. You get the best, all right? Only one more time. I free on my end. Okay, have, all right. I'll yeah, go with they, gave you, they gave you one uh, one fleeting, so. I get one fleety. You have one, one from earlier, one. too, so one final roll. 15, 14, 14. And you just got another one, so two rolls. Okay, all right. Give Ten, me one. Right, and okay. last roll. Come on. Come on. One big more. Number, big number. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I'll roll one more. Come on. Big number, big number, big number. 18 is hey. pretty good. 8 for 4 for Gregor, that's pretty good. That's 16, 16. all together. So, Gregor, you would notice on this subject as you're talking, there's a slight uh, squeak uh, around that you're like kind of like look over to, but like it's like, eh, whatever. Talison, yeah. you would find once this topic has been brought, has been, uh, has been brought up, you find that there is, uh, there's an interesting uh, view from the window <laughs> behind Gregor. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> you look like, is you, this, you, why are you looking at me like that? You look like a Out in the forest, <laughs> I'm assuming? No, they are at the third floor window <laughs> looking in. <laughs> and then when you turn to see them, they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the squeak that Gregor hears. <laughs> up, go to the door. Hey, come on back. Come on, we don't bite. Well, I'm here. What's going on? You go, to, a... you go to the window and you like look out. Because again, this is the window, not the door. <laughs> this is the window, not the this door. This is the I third know. floor window. Oh, on the outside of the building. Yes. <laughs> Not on where the railing is no. or where the walkway is. Sue D so reference. What, Sue D reference. What are you guys talking about? Anyway, um, as you look to the window, you see nothing. As you call out to them, what are those dude? One what? of those student officers is just outside the fucking window looking at us. One of them, student Wallace, is looking. What? Can you say that again to me? <laughs> One of the student officers is just outside the window watching and I guess listening in on us. You're saying there was a cop, you're climbing right there, you're sitting, you're listening? Why would he be doing that? I don't know why she would be doing that. I think she had like blonde greenish hair. I didn't get, get that great of a look, but that was fucking weird. If I knew there was a girl stalking you guys, I would have switched faster. <laughs> Seriously though, um... Why? What's going on? Why would it be there? I don't... I've been doing this the whole time. I hope not. <laughs> okay. mm. Anyway, we'll deal with that later, I guess. Why did they get into an altercation? Uh, apparently it was something to do with, uh, you know, the raw norm, they all cleaned up and stuff. But there were some stuff that was missing from his stuff. And it was this, missing uh, stuff? Yeah, some of his stuff has gone kapoof. It's, been, it's gone. It's not a. So, hearing that, Hal's just gonna check on his own stuff just to be sure. Because he didn't take the best look at it before, you know. Uh, Talison, you start to look around at your things uh, <laughs> that you brought in from the raw dorm. Uh, roll me just a straight d20. <laughs> straight d20. Where's my life-size statue model on myself? I put it right in here. <laughs> 16. Talison, you do notice something missing. Something As missing. you spend a little <laughs> bit of time looking through your stuff, and uh, Gregor, you help him kind of find places for it as, like, he pulls it out from the from the boxes. You do find you are missing some of your, uh, some of your components. You look around, you see that some of the things you had gum, uh, you had brought back from the shop you were working at before seem to not be here. Fucking... Where's my... That's my components are gone? You lose your wife, thingamajigs. I like tinkering with things a little bit and my... 
Some of my components are missing. Hmm. God damn it. Sinking a little bit too far if it's just gone. Or will they just be taking stuff? That means there's a pattern. I mean, if. Well, somebody just made me their fucking enemy. Uh... I don't oh, they made a really think of anything. Enemy, haven't they, Dolly? I mean, if they sold them, they I guess they they're a decent price, but I don't. You know that they weren't anything big. Like they were not yeah. like something important. They're just some some components just that you would use for shit. tinkering. Yeah, they're just <laughs> common tinkery bits. Like tools, maybe like small like little metal bits, wires, that kind of stuff. Like a toolbox or two. What did they take? My knickknacks, those bastards. <laughs> I mean, unless they know how to use it and ha already had stuff and they just wanted to supplement their supplies, but well, it's... Well, alright, but still, that kind of opens up the question of why are they stealing this shit in the first place? Because they could get away with it because we're being... we were being moved out? Well, alright, okay, that's crime opportunity, right? We're explaining why that's happened. I learned this in, in the law class, the first law class I took. Uh, I didn't learn anything else from that. Uh, it's gonna be real <laughs> bad when we go back on Monday. But... I'm just saying... Why? There's, we don't have a motive. No motive. Talison, as I'm, as I was talking about earlier, when we were, when we were having, uh, when we were having samurai explaining things, you do understand, uh, that <coughs> one of the things, just like what Sammy, just like what samurai had mentioned to people, that, uh, the teacher, the professor, the one with the, uh, the large dual disc that you know about, uh, was always speaking about these. Millennium duels and always talking about how they were going to make master duels into being more excited or more exciting than turbo dueling. Maybe he has something in mind for the components that way, but at the same time, you feel like the things that he got, you could have probably just kind of gotten anywhere almost. Yeah, there was nothing in particular about them. The only thing particular just... about it was it came from that shop. Like none of your other components yeah. have been touched. Wait a minute. These came from that sh from the shop specifically that they're missing. Oh, but they ain't even like proprietary or something. Mm hmm. It's it's strange that it's just the shop stuff that I got is missing. What's mm -hmm. a serious case at that point? If it's stuff that was from a shop, that I mean, you might actually be looking at a case of uh, the corporate espionage. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no, corporate espionage of one student having some components he got from a shop. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not, listen, all right, calm down a little. Not everything's saying... about you, Talzin. We're talking about the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything's really about me, fucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't understand. All right, let's you lost some components. And Alfredia lost some, some festival clothing. And I cannot, for the life of me, put together why those things will be needed in the same, or just taking whatever at that point. Well, you also know that Sam, that Samurai had mentioned all of his uh, stuff from his shrine was missing. The festival clothing was what he mentioned at first, but he told you there was also uh, some things from the shrine that were there, including like some of the bricks they from the shrine and bricks. things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took a whole bunch of like festival, like shrine stuff from. Uh... From from uh, from Sammy, so I'm not shrine stuff from him. Yeah, some uh, some like some clothing, some other stuff from there, some bricks. Huh. Talison, Just... as that is said, and you turn around to look back at Gregor, <laughs> he waves her to come in. <coughs> <laughs> and she's gone again you know i'm getting tired of this let's just go out there and see what she wants she obviously wants something she's listening in listen i'm gonna be honest i don't want to get in trouble with fucking i mean do we, do we want to get in trouble in a way that i can handle listen, i don't know if i can you're with me you'll be fine do you want to leave the room Dallison? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if she keeps watching us, it's like, well, I've caught you twice now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and see what you want. It was the critical success, man. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, when it comes to them in particular, 
uh, you will always keep the highest roll you make for them. Oh, congratulations. Oh. Unless I have to actively roll against you, you are you are always beating you are always beating their passive stealth. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know how to find ladies. <laughs> no, no, you borrowed my power to find ladies. As you step out and get to the bottom floor, you guys also note that Benny is uh coming out from the uh from the, the office at the bottom floor with a paper in hand. Well Benny, you're alive. Oh uh, yeah. Oh pineapple bread's actually good, but oof, my stomach's not <laughs> feeling great. Well I'm glad you had a little snack. <laughs> oh did yeah. Did you get an answer or did you just eat the whole time? It shows the paper. Ah. Okay. So I guess I'll have to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I guess we're all sounding better and better. <laughs> mm. Oh, well. Anyway, there's somebody that's been spying on us. If you want to follow us, you can, I guess. I don't know. You find Someone's as you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there she is. Another woman chase. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You follow Talison as you barely go into the forest. The three of you look in as you do see in a small clearing just on the side what appears to be, first off, just a shadow, and then jumping down from a tree. What appears to be a woman standing. Clap, 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 like the golf clap, you know? They appear to be, they appear to be rather small. Uh, they're around <laughs> Gregor size. <laughs> Gregor size! Uh, which is, you know, not like the smallest girl you've ever seen, but definitely is the smallest guy you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm playing, playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. But, uh... Were you five five with my the hair, or...? <laughs> As they land, they uh, they look over toward Talison and Gregor. I see my disguise wasn't wasn't up to snuff. Well, it wasn't a disguise. We were just climbing up a window. I was trying to disguise myself in the trees because the uniform and all. Ah, I see. I, guess I even tried to really sticks out now. So. I tried to dye my hair, but I didn't do it well. Yeah, I see. I see. It's fine. Why were you stalking us? And if it's for lewd reasons, can you not? Lewd? <laughs> Jesus. I'll have you know my master would never allow me to do something lewd. Well, like that. Mm -hmm. Incredible stuff. Why are you watching us? Well, you guys were saying sussy things. Like? Corruption. And? Corruption. So <laughs> so then, here's the biggest question then. <coughs> Why did you suddenly just pop up when we just started talking about it? If you were not watching us the entire time. Oh, this is my jurisdiction. So you can basically hear everything around here when you're just, you know, hiding in the trees? No, nope, I was just passing by. Hmm, I see. And then I heard something, so I climbed up the building. Ah. We're on the third floor. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, there, there is in fact corruption happening over at the Raw Dorm. Mm. As well as Raw Dorm being weird with their dueling shenanigans. That wasn't entirely what I was talking about, no. Mm. You said that one of the officers there wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. I'm pretty You're... sure I know who it was then. Although You're I guess it could to, be anyone. Mm -hmm. hmm? What's that? You're do, 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 do. new to being a police officer. They, aren't they, you? every time they're talking to someone, they rush up directly to them. <laughs> Jump scare. Back away, please. Did please. You? Thank you. Um, that's pretty low ball for police corruption. They look around, but we're not supposed to do anything corrupt. And some yeah. people just do it regardless. 
How rude. We've been saying that for years. So the things that's been going on here has been happening for years, huh? Well, I guess it wasn't really something that was out of our jurisdiction if we'd just been assigned to these positions, but if they've been doing it for years, that means they were here before they came to the college. That means they were here when they were an uh, they were here when they were a minor. Oh, my apologies. Uh, apologies. I was talking about corruption of police in general, not what we're talking about here. Oh, I see. Police brutality. Yes, police brutality. Yes. Well, yes. I mean, in this Sorry. case, it wasn't any brutality. It was just that they didn't do anything. I did not mean <laughs> to confuse the situation and make well, you think we were there. talking about <laughs> something else. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand here. Yeah, yeah I just gotta make. They stand the equal. They stand equal distance between the three of you. <laughs> Let's calculate. It's actually perfectly measured. Wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it is right. the only fair way so we're under your jurisdiction so mm -hmm. other police officers are spying on us well, i'm not a, i'm not an off i'm not a police officer i'm a student officer you chose this willingly mm -hmm. i'm so sorry <laughs> why You'll understand when you see enough corruption for yourself. It's, it's all right, all right. Let's not get into the heavy topic of police anyway, right now. So you know, you may or may not know the person that we're just talking about. I'm pretty sure I know, but I can't be 100% because I didn't see it with my eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Black hair, kind of short. Mm, that does fit the description. A little shit would... and smile. Oh, that really fits the description. It could only be one of two things. Mm -hmm. The one I'm thinking of or a small percentage at someone else. Who are you thinking of then? Well, the one in charge of the Rodorns. I don't really know him. I'm new. We're all new. I think he's a second year. <laughs> yes. I'm a freshman. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. Why? Benny, you're also a freshman. We're all freshmen. Uh, you're all freshmen here. Yeah. I, I, I deduced this such I... since you were all on the third floor. <laughs> However, you came Five. from the first floor, so I was still wondering what you were. But now that I have deduced that you're also a freshman, then that means we are all on the same page. I would explain more of why I said what I did. But Gregor asked me to not talk about that topic anymore, so I will zip it. Hmm. You're leaving with very few clues. He's just weird like that. You don't need to pay that much attention to what he does. Well, that's mean. <laughs> I'm supposed well, to pay attention to everyone. That way a little. You gotta like him that way a little. I have to pay attention to each of you equally. So that I can make I sure that doing. nothing bad happens to you, or you don't do anything bad to someone else. Mm-hmm. We have been discussing that a bad thing happened to one of our friends mm -hmm. who, mm -hmm. you know, an officer was around and they did basically nothing. Yes. He was and over you know in the raw person. dorm, so the raw dorm is not my jurisdiction. However, if you would like to file a complaint, I can do so I'm for you. I'm not filing a complaint, thank you. Oh, but, but something happened. All right. So what happens it, when we file a complaint? I will take it to uh, the ones in charge and then we will deal out uh appropriate punishments all right so Though when does it that will happen? be my word because i wasn't there so they will have to go and ask him and if he doesn't say it then it might be difficult to say that if anything happened but hearsay is still something hearsay is a thing we that don't know anything we we were just passing by <laughs> but that goes against what i heard but anyway, oh, so if sorry. it's the person that you think it is, why does it make sense that it could be him that he did a thing that may not be good? Oh, I do not know. I just went off the description you gave me. And the fact right. that they're the one in charge of the raw dorms. I but see. But someone could have cut their hair, uh, smiled, and took their uniform. And also spoken and spoken in the same voice. And also spoken the same way. And also completely followed the same routine and knew all the same people? Yes. It is a less than 1% chance, but it's still a chance. 
Mm-hmm. All right, first of all... The corruption may run deep. That's not how any of this works. Second of all, here's the isn't even admissible in court. What are you guys talking about? Why did everyone go quiet all of a sudden? Well, I don't do, I don't take people to court. What I'm saying is if you try to tell them something and you're like, all right, how about you talk to this other person? And they say, no, it didn't happen. They're just going to take his book because he's actually like a police officer. Well, they don't automatically take anybody else's word. They could take my word. But again, I didn't see it. So I'd have to probably see it. Mm -hmm. But he saw it. And he's another person. He's another person who saw it. Mm -hmm. But did you tell them to have to, to file a complaint? And then tell them to file a complaint. Well, actually, I think my friend did. Neither one of you wanted to file a complaint. Yeah, but he didn't. He filed a complaint for sending a fucking like. Uh, like oh, yeah, for that. For yes. Yeah, for, for the that. missing stuff. Yeah. Oh, so you did file a complaint. Yeah, for like the stuff that I got missing. Hmm. If we can't do anything about the physical abuse, then perhaps we can still at least find the things that are missing. Your priorities are very good. Hmm? Oh, I can't do anything Nothing. if you don't want to if you don't want to speak up for yourself. If you're telling me that you do not wish to press charges, then that means you are trying to be either the bigger person or you are scared of them uh, or you are thinking the things won't work. But all of that is your prerogative to think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is your free will. I mean, you actually might be able to do something about the missing stuff now. It is not my jurisdiction, but I can definitely take it to, to the ones in charge. But the student was in your jurisdiction when it happened. Were they? Mm-hmm. How you figure? At that point, they would have been moved to Slifa. To be point, if you're supposed to be a part of this area, they would have been part of your jurisdiction by the time it would happen. Oh, I had assumed that they just did not bring the things over from the raw dorms. Which would mean the things when they had never left the raw dorms, which means those things are part of the raw dorm jurisdiction. Yeah, but the person who was affected is still part of Slifa jurisdiction. Oh. Well, you're going to tell me that the things are somehow worth more than the person. Mm -mm -mm. I was mostly meaning that if you were wanting to search the raw dorms, you would have to go through the raw dorm association. However, if I can get you to talk to the ones in charge blah, and actually file a complaint, <laughs> then maybe we can work more with that. You know, we can add on another complaint. Because I'm complaint also missing have? stuff. I'm also missing some mechanical components that I'd had from... Uh, that I'd been working with, so I like uh, messing with that kind of stuff. <coughs> mechanical components. Mm hmm. Mechanical components. Specifically from such and such. Uh, uh, did we ever come up with like a specific name for his for his shop, like an actual thing, instead of just his name's metal shop? Uh, it would be named after. It would be named after the the person. Let me go find yeah. his name. Yeah. Steel metal shop. Ah, yeah. There you go. From Steel Metal Shop? Hmm. Yeah. From Steel Metal Shop. It'd have like a, you know, I can just write down the little logo. It should have that like on the- Oh, you have paper. Perfect. I was trying to commit yeah. it all to memory by saying it over and over. You know, I usually keep some papers on me in case I, you know, get some inspiration for a new design or something. But anyway, he will write down what he is missing specifically. And also the what logo should be on the components themselves. Because mm -hmm. I think he probably would have like had like a little, you know, maybe in, like on one part of it, just like a little branded thing of his like little metal shop. You write down uh, things when it comes to a logo, they don't really have one. But you just write down steel metal shop. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you can make one up if you want to. <laughs> uh, but no, I probably um, won't. As they, uh, as you hand off the things that you're missing. Okay. I'll be sure to bring this to, m bring this to the professor then. Thank you very much. Miss, uh, oh, I'm sorry we didn't get your name. I didn't give it. May we have it? Of course. <laughs> 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 uh, my name is ben Susan. Ben. <clears throat> Susan. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you very much, Susan. Yeah. yeah. Benny's been slowly yeah. blinking yeah. at all of this. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> they run through. They run through the forest. And there she goes. So how much are we better than they're actually gonna do something about this? Uh, I'd, I'd give it like a. I can't give it a 50-50, I'll give it like a a 30-70. Just for how endearing she is about it. I mean, I believe that she wants to do it. I don't know if she's actually going to do anything about it. Yeah. Oh, well. But I think I just start dueling people in Bra. Or I guess they're top students now because they're doing that weird thing. I mean, I guess we're all <laughs> getting drafted, so you have your chance. That's right. The draft thing. Hmm. That'll be fun, probably. I mean, why you say it like that? You were raw, right? I was. It's just, you know. You can handle it raw. You just lost it because of a weird time traveling thing. It's not that. It's more like, um. I don't know. The va they're, they're, they're the general vibe about wanting to be this gung-ho about being the best kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit of um teacher favoritism is what it almost feels like could happen because if you know if teachers can grant <laughs> students certain boons it's like you know who knows what they could have if this teacher is serious about increasing their classes standing Whatever's going on, it's definitely... <laughs> Sorry, I'm apparently sick with the flu now. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Stop being sick. I All didn't right, notice I'm this, but 35 minutes ago, Stokes donated $50. 50 dollars? 50 dollars. But did not say anything about it. Did not say did not say what it was for or anything. I'll have to talk to Stokes later about oh, it. Oh, shit. I don't know if Stokes knows about that kind of stuff. Maybe not. That's fine. I will make sure to it's very nice figure it out. <laughs> Hell and yeah. the kindness of their hearts. Stokes is a very cool guy. I've heard. Yes, continue. Or not. You don't um, have to continue, I guess. Maybe we could just, we could just always go home. <laughs> I repeat, if I... <laughs> So I can't duel to get another room. You guys walk back thinking about that talisman. You're like, God damn. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe Fuck. I just ask someone. <coughs> As if that would ever work. <laughs> Who would just give over the room? <laughs> Who would be willing to sleep with Benny? <laughs> That's the actual cell here. That's the actual cell here. Who would sleep with this man? I mean, if you're too cowardly and want to find someone to switch with, I suppose, breaking the rules because you were too scared of oh. my domain. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Scared Little man, domain. I do not care <laughs> what your Little domain man, is. Little man, about your size. I'd win. <laughs> I can take him. <coughs> in a fight, right? <laughs> in a fight. <laughs> yes, oh. Jen, in a fight. Can you get out here? <laughs> I mean, damn, if you want me to move, I'll, I'll move up. <laughs> All right. Can you get out here. of our room? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not you. No, not you, the, the, the ninja. Oh, they're all She's the way not over here. here anymore. Yeah, they're all She's, the way over she here. She left. She's gone. No, that, that was, was a joke. Response. Oh, that right, was, right, right, that right, 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 you make your way into into your room. You notice that Talison has taken a lot of their things out and placed them in places. You're you're fine with that. The boxes were starting to annoy you. <laughs> they were taking up spaces for your boxes full of uh, full of feed. I made sure not to move your shit, so don't worry. Hmm. Gregor, you make your way back into your room. You will find that Samurai. Uh, is over at one of the two desks, just seemingly messing with their cards, uh, building their decks. Before, 
before separating, uh, Benny wanted to whisper something to Gregor. Oh, what's going on? Ah! He squashed me! Whisper he squashed away. me like a grave! Okay, just, just Gregor, though, so... Whisper away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I can whisper none of my penis, bro! The penis is the most sensitive ear. Anyway. I'll move. <laughs> he just jumps out the window. <laughs> so, I was thinking about it, and if I push Talison away, then I'd be ignoring again. Maybe, maybe this time I could be better. Even if I don't like him right now, I don't want to see him become what quote unquote Lenny's friend became. Does that make sense or am I? Listen, if you're gonna walk right out while the horse is entirely your prerogative, just make sure to treat him right, all right? All right. Allison, you notice as they go to whisper, the squirrel is standing in the center of the room, its arms outstretched towards you as if keeping you from going closer. He will not go closer to them, but he will just, you know, squat down and just start poking the squirrel's like little head. <laughs> not hard or anything. It's like, I can't believe you're real. <laughs> Poke, Finding poke, more poke. interest in <laughs> the squirrel itself than what they're talking about. James is satisfied with the fact that they are able to keep you at bay. <laughs> Good job, James. <laughs> Their power is overwhelming. <laughs> what a king. <laughs> You've done everything you could, James. <laughs> they give a thumbs James up MVP. back toward all of you. <laughs> well... Good night. <laughs> yes, Wax. Hey, good night. Don't let the bugs run and all that. Now you go into your room and see that, uh, Gregor. <gasps> As <laughs> the boys, you settle in for sleep. As you guys will most likely sleep through the early morning tomorrow, except for Benny, who is going to wake up because of all the alarms, and then Talison's going to be mad at all the alarms, and then Gregor's going to go and try to turn off the alarms because Samurai wants the um, alarms turned off. <laughs> unless a certain uh, person mistook those alarms for contraband or, you know, the things that Talison had. Oh, my. They didn't. The alarms are still there. Okay. Talison's, funny, Talison's things aren't missing from the room. They never were put in the room. They were never in the room to begin uh, with. Yeah. They were never yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were left at the raw dorm. <laughs> As you guys settle in, I think we're going to end things off there for the night. We went hey. a little bit late today because <laughs> we started a little bit early today. Or a little bit late today. <laughs> that one. The other thing I said. Yeah. Perfect. We are going to come back next week with you guys going and talking with Professor Jones about what you guys may need to do. You still have to find a fifth person for your group. <gasps> Who could it be? I guess a six. I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> Kate said six at one point, and I'm pretty sure, Kate, are you are you planning on just, like, grabbing somebody? And, um, I think it was... I just said the wrong number. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You guys still haven't found the fifth for your group. You guys have to find out who's going to be the one to go with you at this point. Will it be Samurai, who has a beef with the Raz? Will it be Jim, who is here? <laughs> she sure is here. Will it be Nadia, who is also here? <laughs> who is also here. Will it be Drew, who is also, in fact... Will it be Drew, who you guys know nothing about? Will it or be Susan, 
whose jurisdiction this is all over? <laughs> Will it be or Gray? Gray? Who hates Raw and <laughs> Obelisk? Honestly, it'd be really funny. most of the funny. people, actually. It's a little bit of a case. It would be infinitely hilarious if we just decided to say fuck it and take him with us. It seems that the big thing we'll be doing next game is deciding this arc's fifth DARP. Holy shit. What the I, fuck? I personally think that we're not going to have a fifth DARP and we're just going to rotate NPCs. No, that's what I'm saying. This arc's fifth DARP, not this yeah, game's this fifth DARP. Fifth dark. yeah, just for the, just for the little like arc. We're just kept rotating. Uh, yeah. I, I'm saying that's what's going to happen yeah. in the... Yeah. 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 It's gonna be the same thing, just the NPCs are gonna rotate in the middle. The same of the thing, dual. just again. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. As each of you go off the bed, as you guys get ready to uh, figure out things going on next time, as one of you have a stomach full of pineapple bread and and and, uh, and uh, chocolate fondue. Bring me anything's off here. And until next time, guys, like always, later days. Looks out to the window, Riku. <laughs> Fucking. Looks out to the window. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who the fuck are you? Stop taking my thing from Riku. <laughs>